Dun, dun, dun. Oh, wow. God, Josh wasn't kidding. Uh, now, in the same way, so I used to babysit for a family. Eric? Yeah? What? What's this? And we're very far away. I'm not used to this. It's like, near, far. No. Yeah, wherever you are. No. Um, I used to babysit for a family yeah. that literally left a seat at the table for Jesus. Now, they didn't actually feed Jesus, but they did leave That's a seat. Mean. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's weird. It's like, we, we, we reserve a plate for him at the house. Will you feed him? No. 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 Can't give him any water. No, no he, wine. He, he eats the, the motherfucker turned the shit into wine. The fruits like, of the spirit. Yeah, he didn't give me any water. Yeah. Anyway. Um, let and then, him do that, his magic trick. This is what's happening now. Is that we're reserving a space, but not for Jesus, for Jasmine uh, Bueller, that bronze girl. Um, Great. She was very hungry. She had to get some snacks. I get it. Um, but she's on her way and she's going to do some stuff. Now, in the meantime, now, Josh, do you have a... Uh, is there a camera set up on this? Ding dong. Why would I do that? That makes no sense. I bet you did. I bet you fucking did. Ooh. Oh, it's like, oh God, it's like a runway show. Put a couple of them on there. I'm, I'm, I'm going to fill it up with them. This is going to be like, uh, it's going to be like. Uh, God, they're so happy. They're conveyor finally... sushi. No, it's like they just graduated yeah. and they're like. You know. God, this is like the measuring scale all over again. Yeah. I can't handle it. Here. Can we plug this thing in this time? I mean, I charged it, but it's not going to plug it. So I, don't know. <laughs> yeah, I unplugged it this morning. No, put, put, put in the Tom! So it's fine. It was charging all night. All night. Did I say unplug it? All night long. Oh. All night. You had one job, Tom, and it was to not unplug something. He had a riser for the middle guy. Yeah. He needs to come out like it's like synchronized swimming. Wait, listen, it, do we have something we can put him on? I don't know. I might. Yeah, here. Oh, it's probably too big. Yeah, yeah. You, 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 need, you need the um, painting. No, you need the painting grip. You just set that in the middle. He'd be ready to go. Um. Yeah. Put this on there? Perfect. Oh man, some classic Formula P3 content. There Ooh. you go. There needs to be like Christmas music. Yeah, you know what this is? This is like the Tufels rod. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever seen the Tufels rod? This reminds me of like um, like a like a German or Dutch like menagerie thing that like falls down like a wooden like oh yeah 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 I can see carousel it. absolutely um, but that is the ten orc group of orc brutes yeah we can just toss those guys out yeah I mean they're not necessary <laughs> it depends on who you're going against if if, if I was going against um, the stormcast. Mm -hmm. I think they would be a lot more useful. Okay. Because um, it'd be nice to get a little more uh, rend on there, and especially with Mike bringing them in, bringing Stormcast into the group. Yeah, but, I don't like it. No. Because there's dragons on the way. Yeah. yeah. At the higher at the higher end, they've got like star drakes or something. No, actual dragons. Oh, really? Yeah, and they're like the killing the meta right now, so... Oh, they're still winning? Mike's just gonna come in and just annihilate all of us. All right, now, is it possible to trade you... My own paint? Your own paint for a different one of your paints. <laughs> what do you need? Uh, skeleton Horde, if you have it. Hey, you wanna check on that little mounty yeah, thing yeah. over there? Talking about a Skeleton Horde. Skeleton horde, yeah. I'm in an inconvenient position. Talking about a skeleton horde. Oh, good lord, I can't see a thing. It's a type of horde. I 
know you have it because I've stolen it from you in the past. I know, and I bought a second one because you stole the first one. This is what I'm talking about. You have to have a couple. That's not how it works, Alphabetical Josh. Alphabetical God. Can you be able to find it? <clears throat> he doesn't understand. And it's sad. It's... <laughs> I don't understand what letters are which. No, I'm, I'm adept uh, in that context. Uh, but no, there's everybody else is done, but I did not have a skeleton horde, and I wanted to have some. I wanted this uh, weird knob to have a a range of different uh, horn. Mm -hmm. Options. You know what I mean? I get it. You want him? He's horny. Sure. Well, there's like, but but like, no joke. There's. Oh my god, this is like eight horns on here. He's got a lot of horns. Yeah. You bending your back? Fuck that! I can't see a thing. <laughs> you can't track down the, the the products that you need. Yeah. How's that? Oh, Jesus! Is it? <laughs> I'm gonna pull a fucking muscle. Here, you need some help. Here, I got you. Watch this. How do you hurt yourself painting minis? It's listen. We have discovered a way to do it. It's only on this channel. <sighs> Fuck me. <sighs> I'm gonna pull up the tender chat. Yeah. Well, I don't know what I'm going to use. Josh, I'm an artist. I don't Josh, know what I'm going to use I'm, until I get the, in the moment. I'm a creator. Sounds like poor planning. Oh, fucking A. Trash. Maybe if we had a Give it to me. taller thingy. Yeah, well. You think it might be thingy related? For sitting with, sorry. <laughs> Could be thingy related. It's thingy related. <sighs> so what are you doing with those guys over there? Oh man, all kinds of cool shit. Yeah. Yeah. This is this is. Um, he's the only one I didn't have the right paint for. Okay. Uh, this is my weird knob shaman. Oh. And I wanted to make sure that I had a couple different knobs. Well, yeah, optimally. That's what you get. Oh, what the Jesus Christ. <laughs> Amateur hour. Did the whole thing fall off? <laughs> and it broke something, too. What? Okay. Broke. Time says it's time for some horde overs. Make some more d'oeuvres? Yeah, but they're making a pun of some kind. Oh. Ill-advised. Would it be horde of ours? Horde of ours? Josh, what did you make last night on the cooking stream? No, it'd be horde d'oeuvres. Yeah, there we go. Horde, horde d'oeuvres. There you go. It's hard when you're reading the word. Yes. <laughs> For the pun, when, when the whole thing is predicated on a very specific understanding of its pronunciation. Yeah. That's the whole joke. Uh, I made chickpea and fennel stew. Ooh. How was it? Uh, interesting. <laughs> that, that, that's, that's, uh... Sold. Yeah, man. I feel like it was missing something, flavor-wise. Did you put chickpeas fully... in? Oh, yeah. Okay. And fennel. All right. Well, I'm just but checking. It also had olives and capers in it. It's pretty good. Whoa. As far as, like, that tart end, but it was okay. missing something on the other end. Oh, it needed some richness? Yeah, maybe. Like, generally, when I looked at the other recipes, some of them were like 
three, four hours. So maybe it just needs to cook longer oh, than this yeah. quick recipe, you know, to get the real flavor in there. Especially with veggie stews. Yeah. Sometimes they got to run. Okay. It's not supposed to have beef. Yeah, it's it's chickpea. God. Not that that wouldn't taste delicious. Well, yeah, ob yeah, obviously meat tastes good. Yeah, I mean, you put meat in, <laughs> like, almost anything. And... Yeah, yeah, meat meat is known for having a great flavor. Meat's an incredible addition to soups and stews. Yeah, it's like, do you want bacon in that? <laughs> yeah, obviously. Yeah, generally. <laughs> like 99.9% .9 of the time. Yeah, you come back on and be like, would you not like bacon in it? No. All right. Okay. But yeah, I mean, you can get decent bunts out of, depending on the base, you can get decent bones out of ag racks or... I'm not good at bones for some reason. No? Nope. No bones? No bones for me. I gotta look up more recipes for them. Well, yeah. It's like after your success on Bellacore, you're probably craving a new mm -hmm. resource. And you were able to reproduce basically just using the official Bellacore tips. No, this was the painting coach. Um, he's really... Oh, oh this, this wasn't a, this wasn't a, a GW... No. Nope. Wow. I mean, it definitely worked. Yeah, I like it. I, li I like how it came out. I like the way it looks. I like the way he looks. You know, I'm not You're just. Gonna a, like the way you look. I'm not just a demon prince. Yeah. I'm also a client. Did you order my horse? No, Jux, I did not have a chance to order my horse skull yet. Your what? Oh, you, I thought you were going to do that on lunch. That's the fantasy, but I ended up having to do other stuff. Mm. But yes, I mean, obviously, Mary Lloyd, that's going to be the thing. Yeah, I got to get my neighborhood. I swear I told you about this. I, I believe that you did. I'm not, I can't be relied upon to remember such things yeah well okay well there's a truth in in, right? in there so exactly All but right. still i you know don't pretend you don't have a contact for bones yeah gal i'm just gonna talk to my bone guy he's like johnny he's bones like, he's like number four on your speed dial list. johnny bones Yo, Johnny Bones. Johnny Bones. What do you got? What do you got? Uh, cow skulls. He don't, knows. No cow skulls. What about sheep skulls? He's got cow skulls. I mean, that's don't don't dog Johnny Bones that way. You're saying he's always got him in stock. He's got him. It's just about what size. What size skull? What size cow skull? Johnny Skulls. Oh. Uh. <laughs> yeah, use referral code PA Bones. <laughs> yeah, it's like thirty five percent off. Dude, that got me. I love it. I just, I love it. It's just listen. This is, this is my source. It's like, yeah, there's a lot of channels on Twitch, but which ones are delivering the bone content? Right, and, and bone uh, discounts. I mean, that you bones, don't see. Bones there savings. Are some, there are some other bone uh, content yeah. creators, but nobody but it, has exactly. an in. But are they delivering? No one has an in. Day in, day out. Do they have the contacts with the bone industry? Mm -hmm. um, 
you know, to make sure you're getting the most bone for your money. No. Most bone for your buck? How did you miss that one? I, I was too busy thinking about the other thing. All right. So we just need a little orc flesh over here. Oh, God, you know, the other thing that I could use. Yeah? Tell me. T -t 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 Tell me. Oh, uh, I mean, eventually I'm going to need to borrow that, that Fenrisian. Oh, okay. Yeah, I see how it is. Yeah. Eventually, no, when no, you no, do no, that, no, I'm going to need my no, skeleton system. horde back. No, exactly. I'm saying, like, we need to start treating it like a library, right? Yeah, you're going to lose your card soon. It was really funny. I was going we down, did. like, when, when Laura and I were painting yesterday, I was going down the order, and I'm like, oh, here it is, here it is, here's, where's my Mephisto? Motherfucker! Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he struck again. He struck again. He took your paint pots in the night. Mm -mm. He's got your paint pots. Coming for you with the paint pot. Paint pots in the night. Paint pots in the night. It is nice if you go to the GW booth at a show, mm -hmm. for example, at PAX Unplugged. I heard about this show. Tickets available. It is nice. It is nice. Well, it's, it's, it's nice. Well, no, I'm until saying they bring you in the back and they're like, "Hey, Eric, do you want this six hundred dollars smog?" Well, I've never been. And uh, I'm like, they, like I got the royal treatment. It was like, oh, we've got one. It's like it was like a drug deal. I have never been in the. Oh, hey, what's up? Hi. Hey. Do you want a drink or anything? I can grab you my color You thirsty? Are you thirsty? Am I sitting in the middle? Yes. You are in the middle. Oh my gosh! Started late. I ordered food and they were late. I had to wait for them to deliver. Well, it's all good, but what food did you get? I mean, that's the most important thing. I got French food. Oh, French nice. food? Have you ever had, like, Farine Bakery? I'm familiar with Farine Bakery, yeah. but I have not had it. Sometimes you just need, like, bread and butter. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you, well, you need good bread. Yes. Yeah. It's right? good butter. Exactly right. Case. Yeah. No, my it's sis. It's not a good case. It's horrible. I don't know. <laughs> it's not good. Is it? Is it not good? No. Uh, nothing fits in it. See? Except everything. Like, Except all stuff. Like everything pops out. Uh, oh, the so then my stuff is always in danger of breaking, like all the time. Gotta get that plug phone. Dude, you know what would be cool? I wonder if they have a fill-in. Well, I, I love that these are the right, like they're built they're for angled. the actual shape. They're very yeah. Batman-y. You need plug phone. I do. Right? Because some, cause some, cause some of Well, because some of these, I'm like, saying that some of these women... Oh. So like they oh, have yeah, it it's right down there. here, but See, then they there don't we have go. it for the other layers. But yeah, some of these women, like they're rolling around with a holy triptych. <laughs> like they need, <laughs> they need space. I know. So I have to put some of my guys down here. I have to put some of them. <gasps> uh oh. Oh no. Oh, you just broke him. Is that was the what? kit fashed one. Oh, oh nice. Oh, I got glue. These, these were like extra bits, and I put them up what, here that's to make super... them bug like. Oh yeah, yeah. I Alien queen type shit. Lot. Yeah. Yeah. I'm very blessed in that my my Twitch audience like sends me stuff. Mm -hmm. like, Hell yeah! Sometimes That's doubles great. and triples of stuff, and so then oh. I can kit bash like crazy. That's I love what fun. I'm hearing. Like, yeah, yeah. Setup is dope. Well, yeah. Welcome aboard, and you, you know, can. I wasn't sure y'all were gonna have Turbo Dork, so I brought my own. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Are, are you doing something like cool and shiny and buggy on your? I on your bugs? No clue. I was gonna ask y'all what your thoughts are. Well, yeah, and the, obviously hit up the channel too. They got ideas. Can I put this on? If you want. If you wanna if you want people to hear you. <laughs> it might help. Just give it a shot. Just give it a shot. Talking about how great the weather is today. Yeah, it's right. Is it yeah, nice? It's oh, weirdly it. good. Your army looks so good. Dude, shit's done. I am just here, I'm here fucking with their swords today, right? What? I just gotta make sure I, I just gotta get this weird this weird knob uh, dialed in. Is that from 40k? No, no. I was gonna say that's fantasy, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the, the indeed. So and on that other side, they're called Oruks, of course, because they have to name it some fucking shit. But um, they, no, no, no. You just pop that thing in there. You listen. You're dimension twenty crit roll. Uh, you know your way around a microphone. Don't even, don't play with it. You, you. I didn't even tweet about this before I came 
about it. Done the social media thing. Activate what social? Socials? Activate Boy. social media? Well, I'm not going to fight you. Mm. How's things going? Good, how are Great. you? Great! So nice to see you. I was like running over here. I was like watching. I was like waiting at the door for the delivery driver for my food. Nice. I, she looked so intimidated. She's oh, like, yeah. oh my God, here as soon as I could. I was like, you were on the prowl. <laughs> it's me. No, there's a whole thing. I have to paint uh, imaginary guys uh, in front of a camera <laughs> and broadcast uh, it. It's like, how do you even fucking explain I finished these our normal two, day? And I thought about stripping, oh, shit. I thought about stripping them down because I wasn't oh, oh, hey, hey, hey. super happy here, with them. Here, now check this out. You can put them on this. What? Oh, yeah. yeah, we got yeah. We, we have a yeah. yeah. And then yeah. we have a Should camera. They strike a pose. Yeah, yeah. They're both. Okay. Yeah. And then we have a camera, so everybody can see them up close. So these guys' backstory is they're two leather daddies going to Pride. Nice. Okay. But then I see like other people's serious orc armies, and I'm like, I'm just not sure they're very intimidating because they're very obviously going to Pride. Yeah, but it's if you're painting an orc army and you're doing it serious, like you're probably doing something wrong. Like, yeah, True. they're silly. Like, True. they're silly and fun, right here. Now, are these? Um, so these are are these uh, commandos? Are they yeah, from? Are they from the kill team? Yeah, they're boys. Yeah, yeah they're the boys. boys. This is the commando. He looks doesn't look like he's going to the same venue that no. they are. Well, honestly, no, no. This is this, this, that's I, more of like listen, a there, There's still a place for this. For a At full Pride? face covering, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I don't. Maybe we're going to different parades, but you get a little bit of this as well uh, <laughs> yeah. at the ones I see. Those are the only two I've like finished because I feel like I, I was I was messaging Jerry about this that I tend to strip them down pretty quickly. Oh yeah, I don't, no. I don't trust the process like ever. No, no, no. So have you ever played um, the super like the really hard? It was on Xbox originally, but then they redid it on PlayStation. Like like the remake of Ninja Gaiden. No. It is gruesome, brutally I hard. I it's hard. Don't they have like the the the, the normal difficulties called Ninja Dog or something like that? It might be. They really like to rub it in. That's definitely them, yeah. But the the main takeaway is that I only ever played the first two levels of that game, mm -hmm. and I played it a lot. <laughs> I only ever played the first two levels of that game because I wanted to do it perfectly. And I got to the point where I could do those first yeah. two levels perfectly, yeah. but I couldn't commit the level of time mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that it took to master everything else. Yeah. That's kind of like me with, like, Bayonetta. I get intimidated. It took oh. me forever to beat Bayonetta because they let you know at the end just how poorly you did, and I'm a perfectionist. They just, they, they just you. really shit all over you. Yeah, yeah they like, do. Oh, you got a stone award. And yeah. I'm like, I beat the level. Yeah, what do you want from me? Yeah. Stone. You mean like a rock? <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Fucking rock. You're so far along and I just you... primed hey, last hey, night. Hey, That's hey, all hey. I did. Hey, hey, hey. You don't gotta feel you don't gotta feel any kind of way. And we are just <gasps> overjoyed to have you here. I'm so excited to be here. I it's so funny because I made so I put together my Tau kill team. Mm-hmm saw how many units there were and was like, oh, fuck, I got to paint all these. So then I put together well, luckily a it's like They're, they're like team. white, right? Oh, like you, you just yeah. like, like a Pathfinder kill team? Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. fucking huge. It's yeah. huge. I have got a million units. So then I put together a NIDS kill team and it was like five guys. And I was like, this. Oh, okay, yeah. so this is a good like, starting like, um, point. Hive, yeah. Like warriors mm -hmm. are like 18 yeah. HP or some yeah. shit, right? Yeah. Those are those they're big guys on the bottom. They're big walls of meat. Yeah, mm -hmm. and that gun is scary. Right? Buggy meat. What is this? Is this a venom spitter? Yeah, yeah. it's bonkers. I love like, that. He's like a heavy or something. and he, he, Yeah. I love that guy. And then I've got this guy who definitely looks like he oh, would yeah. rip somebody in half. And then this guy Wait, has what, a... Oh, any, anytime you want to just, just get here. Oh. Young, listen up, young man. It, you keep going. Your car's here. These are my three. <laughs> They're... I don't know. I wanted to call them RM J-Hope. <laughs> and Todd. And Sugar after the rap line of BTS. No, I was just gonna oh, say no. that this is exactly. Yeah. I was like, wait a second, are we doing like a like a K-pop oh, boy man. band thing here? But don't they look like they would be the rap line of a K-pop group? Well, here, here, hook me up here. So, I mean, just give just give it to me straight. Like, break down these personalities for me. Mm -hmm. Right? 
Like who's the shy one? Oh, the one in the middle. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. With with his. That's why he with keeps his people whip. at bay with his yeah. whip. Yeah. E- emotionally. Yes, yes, yes. He's very shy, you know. <laughs> 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 he had he had a late glow up. High school was mm-hmm. hard for him. Oh yeah, exactly. but he doesn't. But he still doesn't believe it. No. Yeah. Right. Yeah. He's like he's yeah. getting the attention and he doesn't know what to do with it, right? So that's the whip. What's going on? <laughs> what's going on with the venom spitter? Whatever this. Um, Hulk he's is. more of a jock, you know. Mm-hmm. Oh, like, he's a, yeah, mm-hmm. he just yeah, he's very sporty. Yeah, had a Letterman it. jacket, right. but had a nerdy aspect to his personality. Right. He oh. he wanted to explore it, but he got like shit on because yes. he didn't. And then well, later so in life, he's like, no, I'm back. Yeah. With and, this but giant there wasn't gun. time for robotics mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. and football, so it's mm-hmm. like something had to give. But mm-hmm. really, he could have gone either now way. Now that he's mm-hmm. married with kids, he has time to pursue those hobbies again. Yeah. Exactly yeah. right. And I love that for him. Yeah. And then, um, yeah, our dual wielding sword guy, he's a chameleon. He blends in with whatever group he's in. Really? Oh, okay. oh so, so, he, so he does a lot of collabs. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He, he ends yeah. up on a lot when, of like. When he's with rock climbing friends, he's a rock climber. Yeah, and when yeah, yeah. he's with, you know, comic book friends, he's a comic book nerd. And he goes to every MCU premiere, mm-hmm. even though he's not really that into it. But he just wants, but he to, wants be to be there. But he wants to be there. I get it. Yeah, yeah. Well, it, 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 the FOMO obviously is an issue. Like he wants to FOMO be. is an issue. He wants to be part of the community. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Hey, hey. So sorry, my allergies are acting up. I'm grabbing some shit. What, what, oh. what allergies are what allergies are happening now? Isn't our Man, Earth? It's been an allergy isn't day. Earth tamped down? I almost killed myself. Yeah, it's, it's like, sunny, so like it's. Oh, the trees are like, hey, yes, it's time for us to do yes. our thing again. It's like fine when it's rainy. I, I brought my pusheen ones, so they're cute on oh, camera. Oh hell yeah! Ah. Post COVID, it's always a fun game to play of like. Testing every oh, day. Oh, yeah. What do I have? <laughs> what do I have? Is this the common cold? Is well, this it's, the flu? It, especially if you're like... Is this allergy? Especially if you're starting to pop off like, I don't know, Jasmine. And everybody wants a piece. I don't know about that. You know perfectly I don't. I don't well. know about that. That. that Jasmine. You Did, know. You're out there killing Jerry it. Jerry had to convince me I was cool. Jerry was like... You're <laughs> out there I was like, it. I'm socially awkward. And Jerry's like, no, not true. Yeah, and I've no. never had someone react to something I say like that. Like, no. Factually incorrect. Yeah. I've I seen it, though. You you are good at it. But it's like... You, you know, you're like... You're like this one. I'm that one? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. This is, a, this is your self-insert. This okay. buggy... Uh, murderer. I like yeah. that. That's actually really You're like, cool. well, no, because it sneaks up on you. And you're yeah. like, all of a sudden, somebody is like listening to you and like looking at you do this stuff, but you're just doing the regular shit. Yeah. Yeah. You're just doing your normal shit. Even with Warhammer, it's really weird. Like, um, like, I don't know to like talk about that I'm in the hobby because I only recently started doing it because of how I got into it. Well, how did you get into it? Um, so I was really good friends, best friends with Jeff. In control TV, Robinson. Yeah, yeah. And um, he would always oh, talk to me about Oh, he was big. He was big in yeah, the war. He was like, yeah, that yeah was, he was that in was the pro scene. Yeah, yeah. And we were really close. We would oh, do podcasts together and stuff. Yeah, yeah. And um, we, how did it start? Oh, um, I started playing the Warhammer video games because I really oh, like yeah. Total War and Vermintide. Dude, Total War is so huge. Good. Yes, Vermintide, and I play all giving, the Total War they games. They were giving Vermintide away. Yeah, for yeah. free. Yeah. They, they, they gave away over a million copies. What the fuck are you talking about? Right? That game still bangs. So, yeah. They just released new content for it. I, I just know. got an email, what? which is it's crazy. Nuts. Yeah, like as of like today. But they probably they have, like, a mad, new snow level. So but they cool. probably yeah. move mad DLC, though. Probably. I mean, I know I own all of them. Well, I mean... It's hot. Dark shit. Tide is going to be out of control when that's so good. Drops. I played the early access and I, it was I'm like ready. amazing. Yeah. Hopefully, we can prevail upon you because yes. that, that might be a fun yes. spot. Yes, I throw you can bring down. Balvin, yeah, and then we'll just we'll fill yes. the rest of it out. Um, I throw down with the Astra Militarum character in that well, game, the sharpshooter. Okay, I was just going to say now, that is pursuant to something else. So before we get too hog wild mm-hmm. over here, mm-hmm. I do have two presents. Presents to Cola, can welcome you, you to the studio. What? Yes. What? I know. This is like an official. This is like a real show. Yeah. So this is the Kazarkin, <gasps> Katie and Elites. Now I watched your oh stream. Oh my god. I watched your stream, and you were like look, looking at the Kadia yes. background, and you yes. were like, "What?" And because it, it showed like that swirl of rocks. Yeah, they got mm-hmm. destroyed. That was Kadia. So these are the Kazarkin. They're elite troops. So this is a full kill team. Instructions are in here. Oh now, my god, thank you. Well, thank you, Now, um, 
But this was something that Kiko gave to me, but I had already bought it that mm -hmm. day. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to give it to you. Wow! Thank this you is so the much. sauce. This is from Kiko. Yeah, basically, that Kiko makes would it, like, Kiko Kiko would love you to have it. Um, but I didn't understand like just how much it helps, ha ha being able to like stop my painting, like stop the project, mm -hmm. seal it up, mm -hmm. and then it has a little like elastic in there, mm -hmm. and keep it fresh, and then you'll be able to come back the next day or later that day, and everything is still ready to go in here. That's dope. I mean, it's a huge it's a huge time saver. I'm yeah. just. I'm just saying, obviously, welcome to the studio. There are some treasures. Thank you. It's my great pleasure. I appreciate this greatly. It is my great pleasure. These are um, so cool. Yes, I agree. Like now the character- They're scary neat too. The char That's like my favorite character to play because of her quips. Mm. They're great. Cause she'll always be like, Kadia stands. Cause she's, that's like the voice I chose is like the really deep yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. No, but she's rough. For Kadia. And then she yeah. when she does her like specials and stuff, I'm exactly. like. Exactly, but the, the, the thing that's cool. I mean, Kadia doesn't stand, it's gone. But no. that's, the sentiment did, is appreciated. Yeah. You know, I'm glad you believe it in your heart. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you can you, you can tell that it's real, right? Um, but anyway, so, cause I know, that, I know that you like to start on a new kill team right away before the last one maybe is completely I done. I do that a lot. I have watched I a couple a of your streams. Yeah, I'm really bad at it. No, actually. you're really good at it. I, I, I bounce perfect. around a lot. I just bought Blooded, and then now I've started like a, They're really cool. They're a lot of fun. Well, they're great, because it's such a, um, it's so asymmetrical. So like, all of those models are completely different. Like, mm -hmm. I, I have a Phobos set. These are so cool. Um, I have a, a Phobos strike team from, uh, they're the opposite uh, army in that starter box. So that's like the Morok box. It's oh, Phobos strike team mm -hmm. and blooded, right? Mm -hmm. And I bought the blooded as its own box. Yeah, yeah these days, yeah. these days yeah. they, they, they put them out, but it's really, really like, they're obviously space Marines. And so they more or less, they look similar, but mm -hmm. they have different accoutrement. And then the blooded, every one of them is chaos. They're all whacked out and weird looking. There's this weird, crazy ogren with a Welcome big brass to. thing pushed oh, yeah, through its yeah, chest. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so there is another, there's another one that's weird like that called the Gellerpox infected. I don't think I've seen those. Yeah, they, just, it, it, they only showed up a couple months ago, but essentially they're all like these, they're sort of nurgly. Mm -hmm. They've Got so they got these. You know how in in forty like k that are a little nurgly. Well, yeah, a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Um, but basically, they are real moist, and because uh, there's, there's, there's all these chaos diseases and shit, yeah. like these yeah. cults and this type of crap. So they're like really, really disgusting monsters. But the way the army works is that when you buy equipment, mm -hmm. you're actually buying other. You're actually purchasing other little plague. Models like their equipment is other little models that they can move around. So when you play against them in kill team, it's like you're you're fighting a swarm of yucky boils and That's stuff like dope. this. It is gross. I like it. I like this concept. It's <laughs> gross. But anyway, hey. So so what do you want to throw some paint on? I think I'm gonna work on my Tao today. Hey. I've never painted Tao before, so I'm very nervous to do so. I'm gonna hop off on this. I don't want to. No, no, I, think, I think they want to be painted. I, I think that I think that once once you figure out their vibe, I think you'll be able to You're saying the minis want to be painted? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Solid, solid call. I chose these three because they're kind of my faves. I kit bashed all of these to have closed face helmets because mm -hmm. I yeah. sorry to be judgmental, oh, I don't no. like how the towel looks. No, it's not good. They're not cute. Uh, but now they're cute. Because now they all have their faces are covered. Yeah. I needed to cover those mugs and give them these cool helmets. Oh yeah, see this the, one's throwing a nade. And these cats are going to be filthy, nasty too, with these up close weapons in. Uh, yeah, and I have dark. a couple of drones, so mm -hmm. my plan is to marker light people into oblivion. I don't like yeah. any of this. No, that's how that's that's it's how too it works. Scary. <laughs> it's too scary. Uh, They're Mike's brutal. boy, Mike's boy, Gabe just started getting really seriously into figuring out how to make them work on um, in kill team. Mm -hmm. And the first few times we were messing around, like there's some marker lights and some no marker lights. And then now the new version of them, because there's actually two canonical um, 
Tau teams. Yes. Mm -hmm. There's like the ones that are in the, the Adeptosaurotos box that you got. Yes. And then there's actually just like what they call a compendium team, which yeah. is just like the original. And it's not, it isn't as detailed and it isn't as cool. Great. The new one has got like marker light -like grenades. Mm -hmm. Yep. Like that. Yep. Isn't there a and there's satellite ways too? to double the marker lights on someone? Yeah. 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 And you can, as long as you are placing the marker light on the same target you're shooting, mm -hmm. you, the same character can use both of their AP to do that. Yeah. Yeah. And so, but once they get stacked up, now they have no cover. Now you're re-rolling a dice. Yeah. Now you're shooting like a space marine. Mm -hmm. Like it, it, it stacks they're, up bad. They're great boys, but yeah. they're not good at melee. And I mean, just. No, that's true. Would you, what do you think this little boy is going to do against him? Yeah. Uh, pray. Yeah. <laughs> He's yeah. not a sororitas. Prayer will do nothing. Do you mean here. be pray? Is that, yeah, you mean like be, be consumed yeah. by this yeah. bug? Um, yeah, I mean, it depends. It, in They're so bad at the, like. If, yeah, but that's a really great pose. It is a really great yeah. pose. He I want to see that fight. Yeah, this is very StarCraft too, to yeah. be honest. Very much so. What's that? Mm. Did I? And you said I was a pro. You were like, you're a pro. But you are. Now, listen. I didn't even notice I lost it. So. Oh, up here? Gotcha. In, in Into the Dark, which is like, um, it's all like inside the hull of a ship, all bulkheads. It's like, instead of an open map that has terrain, it's like you're in a maze inside of a oh, yeah, haunted ass streams. ship. Oh, yeah. 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 So they have, I've been waiting for. To specifically to see how some of these models would intersect with that system, mm -hmm. because there's a an order that is in into the dark that isn't in regular kill team called guard, and so you can kind of play a trick because obviously this this dude wants to hit you with these bone swords. Yeah. Right. So you can put a t you can put a model on guard, and what they will do is wait. And if someone charges them, they can actually shoot them oh, as soon as they get base to like base. Like an Overwatch. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes it's, 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 it's called a point blank Overwatch. That's really cool. And the, the rules are that you get to shoot them for free. Then, anytime there's a melee with the target that charged you, mm -hmm. you roll no dice. Okay. So it's like you get one last chance, but if it's a pulse blaster, or something really nasty, like those yeah. four or five, um, those really evil four or five combos, or yeah. like a stealth suit. Yeah. Those fusion blasters are like, that's one of the worst, like one of those yeah. terrifying weapons I've ever seen. I definitely got confused on which gun was the fusion blaster. Oh yeah, well, it's, it's not gonna be an issue. Because like, they if, look if you ever very here, similar. Yeah, even my Sorotas, they're not all novitiates. Some of them are. Oh, it's a little mix and match? Yeah, a little mix and match. They they still have the right weapons. They just don't have the dorky little thing on the hood that lets marks them as a novitiate. Oh, they they they, they, got, they have a fit. They yeah, they, yeah, they've got the bob out. You know, they got the hair out. Because they're like older models, and I, I used some. Oh yeah, from some the of the old ones. Yeah. Blocks, but yeah. I was like, I already have a dual whip lady, and I already have like, yeah the, the sister Repentia or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I like ended up porting some of them over. I'm trying to think. If they, yeah, these I honestly just got confused on the guns because they look very similar. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, and, and again, like you know, it's, especially if like if we're gonna play or if you will, if you roll through, and you want to play in the studio. Yeah, like, I have like the. It's, I have like my list so that really? you know, like, things above. Above board. Yeah. Look at how fucking pretty check you out. Yeah. The fucking pretty it out. Yeah. All right. It's all. Uh, so this these are the okay we got well, the. So this is my Pathfinder kill. Totally. Team. I totally. also have like the other one, but that one I didn't. Those guys are uh, frightening. Uh, so no stealth suits. No stealth suits. Okay. Yeah. Because those are some weird. That's a, yeah. It's a I weird mechanic, I but it's really good for Into the Dark. Yeah, yeah. I didn't realize I had the box for stealth suits until like I was cleaning <laughs> out, and then I saw I had a box of stealth suits just sitting there. You saw a little stealth suit, the little tear mm -hmm. in its eye, in its cyber eye. It's like you forgot about me. That mm -hmm. happens to a lot of my stuff. That, and I'll just buy things that are cool, and then realize they're not kill team legal, and be like, oh. Oh. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And obviously we can we can sub stuff in here. But I mean the the main thing for me is just like which which one of these like in terms of your novitiates, like which team are you excited about like playing, like actually putting on the table and getting getting well, I have, wild with? I have like a, a, a confession. 
I suppose, which I, I think I kind of told you about, is that all of my uh, Warhammer play is conceptual. Like yeah. I've never, I've never had any friends to sit down and yeah, actually well, play of with. Yeah. The, the, yeah, but the best part is when you have a group of people and yeah. you don't have to worry about it and. You don't have to worry about like not knowing the rules. Oh. Like, yeah, I know, a, I know like, the rules in theory. Yeah. Well, so I no, know no, in theory which team. No, it, no exactly. Like you're reading be the book yeah. and then you're modeling yeah. it and stuff like that. Yeah. And it's I, like I, when all of us, before we played our first game of D&D, right. how we came up with like 400 campaigns totally. and how it would run. Uh -huh. And then you actually Oh, so played, that's where you're at? That's where I'm at, yeah. Nice. Because, and I talked about it on my stream once where I was like, I d am terrified to play with strangers. Oh, no, dude. It, it is scary. It's like scary. As, as someone who has done that. Yeah. Like, and also, You're brave, I, I, I just, took I a lot of to it took it. a lot of work. Like I, I worked on these guys for a long time, and then if I imagine I take them, you don't say. Yeah, two years. Yeah. And then imagine that I take them and then put them in front of some stranger to judge. Right. And then they then and then they kill my toys. Like yeah. That, does that that for me that. That isn't how we do it, right? So there's right. two ways, right? So imagine that Street Fighter kid, they want to play Street Fighter. Mm -hmm. They're playing Street Fighter at home with their friends and the people that they know. Mm -hmm. And then there's the Street Fighter player who's like in the arcade and there's quarters on it and people mm -hmm. are trying, and they're trying to battle to be the one who is staying on the machine. Like, I'm not interested in that second one. Yeah. I'm very me. interested. <laughs> I'm very interested very, in hanging out with my me. friends mm -hmm. yeah. and optimally telling a story with these models. Yeah, I like the narrative play. Yep. And I'm one of those people that would like, like I, you know, I name my guys. Oh, hell yeah. While I'm, you know, kind of putting them together. They kind of develop a personality. Mm -hmm. and oh, yeah. Well, and in, in Spec Ops, in Spec Ops I haven't had a chance. Yes. I remember going to a Friday Night Magic once. Oh God! Um, I later went on to be a ref for Friday Night Magic. Oh, for real? Because yeah. you, you like fell into the fucking hole. Yeah, like well, was, you know, I worked at a game store, and the first time I went, did I do it again? Oh my God, I lost it again! Mike, loser. Wait, is it because <gasps> that would be why? Wait. Oh, it's weight. Yeah, ah, it's it fell weight. out of the. It fell out of the. Fell out of his holster. I'm so sorry. Audio-wise, this is probably a nightmare to listen to. <laughs> I'm so sorry for all the... I don't know how to get this back in its content. Here. <laughs> Here. Uh, uh, well, now it's the whole thing's incredibly weird. Yeah. And... Thanks, everybody. Yep. It's been a great uh, stream. Go thanks for rolling through. <laughs> now what the fuck am I supposed to hear? No, here, here, listen, here, listen. I mean, this is... God, all right. I'm so sorry. No, it's fine. It's We just got to... Get through this together. Let me just pull up this floss. Mm -hmm. All and right. And this comes through mm -hmm. here. Yep, we love this. Okay. And then, okay, just, just don't think about it. And then, oh, I see oh, why. You got it yeah. upside down. The belt. I have the belt upside down? Yeah, like if this is facing up, uh -huh. that yeah, won't yeah, shoot see, out. Yeah, yeah, I did this the, for two years okay. Okay. before I realized I needed exactly. to flip my belt up upside okay. down. So. Josh wouldn't tell me flip the, give your belt upside down. No. Tom wouldn't tell me. No. Well, so then, you know, it's like this. Yeah, so that part, so the thingy won't fall out. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Don't, don't, don't. <gasps> Those are beautiful. I'm so glad you like them. Those are beautiful. I, I'm so pleased. I think they turned out really good. They did. Um, but that That's is. That's your best work. That is for, um, there's like a, a game called Warhammer Underworlds that's almost like a, it's really a board game. Mm -hmm. Like it's, ultimately it's a board game, but it has like the stuff that you'd like about war games in terms of like positioning and some tactical decisions. Mm -hmm. But every one of the armies is just, is like three to seven models. Oh, that's so, so accessible. Just as a project. Yeah. It's like building Legos or something and they're push fit. Like there's no mm. clip, there's no snip. It's mm -hmm. just, it's just awesome. Um, anyway, uh, no, but we did a, a, a sponsor stream for that a minute ago, and it was a blast. But if you have never played that, um, that is, this is within striking distance. This is That's also really cool. something that. Anyway, anyway. So no, I think that it is okay now. But 
but it's something that you want to do it. You want yeah, to you yeah. want to play, but you have yeah. not had an opportunity to. No, because then I've, I've tried to get my friends into it, and mm -hmm. we've played a lot of like other board games, but not oh, this. Sure. And yeah, this is a whole different. Yeah, finding yeah. Beast, finding people right? who are willing to go this far into down it from the like the back. Oh yeah, because we're talking about how I got into it. So yeah. I started playing the video games. I was really good friends with Jeff. And he was like, you love XCOM, because I'm an XCOM fiend. Oh, nice. And okay, he was yeah. like, this hobby is for you. And I was like, girl, Ooh, yeah. I don't need another hobby. I already <laughs> play magic, you know? And so he got me on the books, the Dan Abnett books. And I started with Xenos. The Abnett verse. Yeah. And oh, I, you like, you I like the Eisenhorn. Them. You like the, yes, um, I was the Inquisition obsessed, stuff. And I started watching like videos on on the YouTube lore. and learning the lore. Oh yeah, for sure. And getting into it from that end. Right. And then when he passed away, um, right. it was kind of a grieving thing for me. I would like find a lot of solace in like putting the miniatures together. Mm. And so that it became- It's a very meditative thing. Gunplay's yeah. like that too. Yeah, it's like my favorite part of the whole thing is like finding the parts on the sprue and sanding them, getting rid of all the mold mm -hmm. lines, using well, green stuff to fill in everything. Right. Yeah, exactly. Oh, oh, you go you go that hard, huh? Yeah, yeah, I smooth everything you out. The and then by the time you put the primer on it and you see the finished product, it's like, I don't know, it's like really, it became a meditative thing. It very and much is, And I'm yeah, one of those really. retail therapy people, so I just bought Oh so yeah, so many of you them. Got, you got yeah, but heaps. It's not even that. It's like, oh, you can buy all the paints, or you can buy yeah. like you can literally just keep going back to the yeah. store as much as you want. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, it's and super. And so it, I would, yeah, I would just assemble. As you've seen, I have a lot assembled. Yeah. But then I was like, I don't know if I'm really a true Warhammer dweeb because I haven't played that much. No, no, it's. It, no, I think it's. No, no. You but can find like whatever you like in the hobby yeah, and go yeah. with it. Yeah, so yeah. Basically, you can. Even if all you did was like build beautiful models and paint them and come up with stories for them, I mean that seems like a badass hobby. Right? Like that hobby sounds kick-ass. Yeah. In theory, this Pathfinder team does shred, though. Oh no! Oh no! Uh, they're, 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 they're nuts. They're, they're gonna wreck. Oh. It's Lots gonna be. Lots of pulse it's... carbines on here. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, well, here I was, I was just gonna say. Because we can go through. You have you have the the full list right there, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. I'm just trying to find this. Um... I've got my I've got my full list. It's a lot of drones because I wanted to use the little drone guy who's like on his iPhone. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah he's the, like the so cute. Guy? Yeah. So then I ended up putting more drones in than I originally thought I would. Well, drones are really really neat because they have a bunch of specific rules. Um, there there's certain things that they can't do. Like in the mission, mm -hmm. there's things that they can't necessarily interact with just because they aren't they aren't like a an infantry person, but they also are programmed to jump in the way of shots. Are they really? That's so sad. It's super sad. That's really depressing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why no, you tell me that. Well, it, it's your choice. You don't. You, you, you're, you're willing to. You can have a model die. I don't want Johnny Five to jump yeah, in front right. of bullets. He, he wants He's to be alive. alive. Historically, yes. that's been his whole drive. No, Johnny. <laughs> no, you can do whatever you want. But each of those, each of those drones has got really, really weird shit. Like that pulse accelerator drone. Mm -hmm. Makes all these pulse carbines a lot scarier. Right, like a lot scarier. A lot scarier. Especially, and that's not even talking about marker lights. And then I threw in a grav inhib drone we because I don't oh, want yeah. these guys to be anywhere close. No, to exactly me. right. So that, keep them the, at bay. So yeah, I mean, see, this is the thing. Having played D and D with you, and like seeing, like seeing, like the combo thing that you'll build with certainty. Yeah, you're. You're gonna do fine here. <laughs> like this is. This Wait is, until she multiclasses into paladin. Because oh then I'll geez. have, okay. I'll, then I'll be able to do two attacks on a turn, and and action like surge said, and smite. Like I said. Could you imagine throwing daggers and smiting? Yes. There's got to be a way to do it. Because yeah. don't you have to melee hit to smite? Uh, there has to be a touch, yeah. But the best part is, is that we're why. is that we're already set up, because um, the war domain, like war domain, I've never had to do it. I've been waiting for it. War domain clerics. Um, have the, they can just make other people's roles work. Oh. I can just add ten to any role. So it's like if That's if if cool. you're if you've so got it's it like set a true up. Strike almost. Yeah, yeah. So if you have it set up and it's like this perfect thing and mm -hmm. it's all dialed in, everything it, it, like it needs to work and it's like built up to really fucking hurt them. Mm -hmm. 
we can just push a button and make it happen. Like, it's going to be so good. I've been waiting, but you fucking keep killing people. Like, your your success on stage with Dice has been very good. I do. I keep, well, I I, I keep like watching. I keep watching from the side, like. This is this is this is this Last is my time. Last time we played, I think I rolled two nat twenties. It's been yeah. no, my I've been on fire on stage. Just something about those dice because I don't yeah. roll like that at home. Yeah, there's those big heavy ones. Yeah, mm -hmm. those big. We're throwing around plump. like maces, basically. They are plump. Um, but yeah, yeah, yeah. So are you gonna you gonna slap paint on those? I think so. Those gents. I've mm -hmm. never painted something. Uh, so in, tiny. Well, so tiny and you, so like. Because your other guys are pretty plump. Like, so these are like, um, not organic. Like he's like they're oh, kind of. I want to have them oh, be inspired, sure. kind of by Halo Spartans. Oh, that was fun. Oh, that makes sense. I added oh, a lot of oh, shit onto oh, them, like, and I feel like, like oh, I'm like individualized. That. The yeah, way a Spartan is. Yeah, like they all have the same kind of. Maybe overarching color scheme, but they all have like their own little call Take signs or whatever. Totally. Yeah, yeah, which is going to be probably a nightmare to actually paint. I, I love what I'm hearing. I, I think it's going to be fine. You'll see. Um, I love that they all have helmets, though. That's my favorite part. Yeah, I don't really understand what's going on with the. Who wants to see that face? No one. I just. No one wants to see that mug. This is the thing. They all they all had the masks, and then they were like, "Okay, yeah, these chance. ones don't have these ones have the faces." It's like, well, why that face? I believe this is the assault grenadier. I just got one of those, and it's such yeah, a lifesaver. This, this is legendary. And I believe this is the... He's standing on a rock. Yeah. So I don't know if he's special. I think he's. I think these two are just Pathfinders. Yeah? Yeah, because I think the Shisui Pathfinder has a... I, I think I put a knife on him to symbolize his bonding knife. Oh, there we go. Oh, because so you actually, you snipped all the way down. Yeah. You put in the equipment. Yeah, That's I put in I'm the equipment. About. Yeah, this guy has like a repelling set. I think. Shit, yes. Yeah. It's kind of That cool. bangs. So, but I mean, are, have you have you fucked around? Like, when you look at their their stat loadouts, obviously, everything I've heard about, like, the list looks amazing. Mm -hmm. But you haven't had a chance to, you haven't had a chance to, like, look at any of the, like, fuck around with the keywords and... I have. Oh, okay. You, yeah. got, that, you got all that shit? Okay, yeah. good. I so, don't really know how the, like, it, it's so funny because, like, I understand the fundamentals of mm -hmm. the game really well. Yes. But then what I get confused on is like the very simple stuff, like how do you place your units? Mm -hmm. You know, but I get, yeah, I understand like the, I think it's because there's a lot of knowledge that translates between my hobbies. Mm. Yeah. So something like, oh, understanding like what the tables mean for like, okay, so this means I get three dice to roll and they yep. hit on a four up and if it, if yeah. it's a six, then it does double, Especially it's a mortal gaming. wound. Yeah, like so right. a lot of that translates because of XCOM. The place yeah. where I get lost in the sauce is like decision making, well. which is why, like, much like uh, you know, having a sideboard for Magic: The Gathering, I have mm -hmm. like thirty units to swap in and out. Oh, is yeah. that Bellacore? Oh yeah, I just realized he had he has horn rings, so I'm like, oh, I'm painting those gold. That's so metal. Yeah, it's it's, it's this metal is shit. Yeah, he's got chains with skulls inside his wings. Put him on the disc. So he needed he needed some earrings. Did he? Yeah, look at his look at his horns. He's got earrings on his horns. Would that like, hurt? I gotta paint those. I'm like trying to figure out if that would hurt yeah, or do if they have it would nerves? not hurt. Do they have nerves in there? Inside the horn? I don't know. So Yep. He's got horn rings now. Yeah, as it should be. So I think I think these guys He's are sexy. Yeah, exactly. This this is Yeah. This is a video. You know, I think Bellacor hits the gym. Because yeah. those calves, that's from what you know. What he no, is exactly. on stairs, though. Yeah, that might be from up and down. Stairs. He's like, he's like doing a pose just for the picture, like yeah. flexing. Yeah. yeah, he's just going up and down. But he, yeah, he never misses wing day. Obviously, mm -hmm. look at these. Look at these talons. It's the talon show. He's just, but he looks very but, good. But you got the lava in there. Listen, you done good. No, you did. You an done good, kid. On this. He looks fantastic. It looks like we're selling him. I know. It's like QVC. It's QVC. Yeah. It's QVC. $99. It's $0.99. Like the holidays are coming. Yeah, the holidays are coming up. <laughs> your children like, will love you. I want you to buy me. Bring Bellacore home today and welcome <laughs> chaos into your household this Christmas. Yeah, exactly.
The Bellacore Collection. The Bellacore Collection. I feel like it has to be Mortal Kombat style. Collection has to be spelled with a K. Oh, with the K? Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. The Bellacore Collection. Dun, dun, dun. He's, I love how cool toned you made him. Yeah, it looks really cool. Yeah, like, uh, the wings were the funnest part, actually. Just the wings look the most complicated. It was the easiest. That's why it was really? so much fun. It was just dry brushing. It's four different dry brushes. It's just a, it's just a great sculpt. Yeah, the sculpt. It, yeah, the sculpt really. You makes know, it I will say, after painting a little bit of Warhammer stuff, mm -hmm. yeah. going back and doing cheap minis, I can't do it. No, it's like impossible. they're nice. Oh, no. there's, nothing, yeah. there's nothing to like. They're, they're pick, good. <laughs> sorry, to pick up they're like the high models. points. Mm -hmm. Exactly. This is what I mean. Like, like big parts of this, like just the sculpt in general on these rocks. Mm -hmm. This, after you had done the dry brush phase. Yeah. It looked great. Yeah. Right now it looks fucking stellar. But after, or like if these, you need like a wash, wings. you know, yeah. like if if you ha if you don't have any Bring like details to like wash into, exactly. Mm -hmm. Then you just have to paint all the details yourself. So when you do like cheap D and D minis, it's almost impossible for me to paint them now. Yeah. Because yeah. I feel like oh. you can just put a base color down and do a wash and it'll look decent. Yeah. But it's yeah, it's, not, it's nothing like when but you... your expectations, see, now it's, now it's yeah. bougie. Now I'm bougie now. You need the nice you model. Many, you saw how many minis I bought at West. Oh, yeah. Because they had those, like, nice, like, resin-printed ones. Oh, I'm here to tell you right now, Unplugged is... is Gonna be out of control. Unplugged is the danger zone. Really? Like, uh, oh. Unplugged is the only show, like, Kiko and I are the only Last ones... Last year was my first time going. Oh, it's so good. But Kiko and I are the only ones who have been to every PAX total. Like, and they're not making any more of us. Like, you hold that distinction? I do. I That's do. crazy. But get a load of this. That's unplugged is the only one that I have ever had to buy luggage at. <laughs> really? To bring home bring shit. stuff home. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I had to bring home shit. <coughs> yeah. Damn. I, I had a controversial take on my stream like last week regarding uh, uh, packs. I, I have seen your streams. I have yeah. seen these takes. Yeah, because so, somebody, like, somebody was like, oh, you were probably absolutely jazzed for Unplugged. And I said, ah. Not really. Yeah. Jerry's going to be there. And yeah. then I was like, ah, deal with all these yeah, yeah, I'm more excited for East and West. And people mm -hmm. were like, what? And I was like, I like video games. Oh, yeah, yeah. You, and people you're, were you're, like so <laughs> upset by this. They were like, what? And I was like, well, West is nice because I don't have to travel. East is nice because I love Boston. Yeah. yeah, that's an interesting take. But girl, then, girl gamer confirmed? But people were like really mad that I wasn't like like jazzed out of my mind for unplugged. Uh, and I was like, I like expect, video games, losers. Uh, like they I just ex oh. they expect you because because you do a lot a lot of your a I lot of your career most, is in that space, right? I was right? almost you know burned at the stake when I said that I like video games more than D and D. Like really? if if given yeah if given the option to play D and D or play like. Yeah. Dark Tide. Oh, I would I'm not questioning play. that. I'm, I'm questioning the fact that people were upset about that statement. I think it's oh, because it's I internet. write for D and D. Oh, I think it's like when okay. you're, you know, because I'm a writer on Critical Role right. and I've done stuff with Dimension Twenty. Like people get mad right. that I would rather play D D Deep Rock Galactic with the homies than yeah. play D and D with the homies. Is some part of it? Are they? Do they think that they like own you conceptually in some way? Yeah. Oh, you're oh, their you like, part, you're their, like tabletop. I. I don't Plug. think I don't even think it's like that. I think it's like like you have this dream job. Yes. So you should that should be your number one yeah. love, they, right? They made it understand. Like you're that, lucky because yeah. you get to you know occasionally make money playing D and D. Mm -hmm. So you need to be completely devoted to this. Right. Whereas to me, it's like I I, I remember saying someone was talking about combat in D and D. I've gotten into a lot of trouble, Jerry. I've gotten in a lot of trouble. And I said, oh, yeah. who the hell cares about balance in D&D? D&D &D yeah. is fight, like the battle mechanics are inferior. If you want to play that, go play Warhammer. And people right. were like, well, <laughs> that's not true. I was like, no, it is true. D&D &D well, combat, like even PvP in, and D&D &D is even a inside, sick joke. Look, dude, even inside tabletop, there are a million systems for resolving combat like that. D&D yeah. &D is what it is. Yeah. Yeah, it's not it's not great. And I hate PVP and D&D &D for that reason mm -hmm. because it's not balanced. Well, it's not set up for that at all. No. 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 Absolutely not. Right. Um, and it's fine. 
Yeah, that's it's fine. fine. I'm not mad at it. It's good I'm to just, tell stories I'm with. I'm just saying, but... like, in terms of, like, yes, it's very good to tell stories with, but if, if what you want is a different type of combat system, I mean, for me, a burning wheel sort of... Oh, Ooh. yeah. Torch, torch, torch bearer is... Yeah. That yeah. is really, really Ooh. solid yeah. and good. There's no individual HP. Mm -hmm. You succeed or fail as a party about mm -hmm. based on your tactics, right? It, it, it's I've modeling I've read a the Torchbearer way. book. Oh, I've so never good. played it. Dude, if the we closest get... thing I've played to it is Mouse Guard. Oh yeah, same. totally. And it's it, the same. I, yeah, it's like based off the same system. Yeah. I even like some stuff with Blades in the Dark like that too. Yeah, though. like I like the way they resolve some. But combat Mouse, stuff. Mouse Guard has hot shit. Yes, like Mouse Guard banks. I love Mouse Guard. Yeah. Mouse Guard's probably one of my favorite games that like no one lets me run. <laughs> oh Why? man, I just don't. Yeah, I don't know. I've don't had like companies it? that are like, oh, can you can you like do content for can us? Can you do content for us? I'm like, yeah. Like, what if I use this to run a Mouse Guard game? And they're like, something else. What are you talking and I'm about? just like, wow, haters. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> haters. Weird. Fuck them. I'm reading chat. As you should. Sorry, Chad, my allergies are crazy right now, and I'm getting over a seasonal cold, so I'm a mess. If only you knew someone with a company. <laughs> There's gotta be somebody around here. Yeah. That's so funny to me. Yeah. The That's whole, like so the, the whole thing was a pitch. Are you not, this is, she's 4D. <laughs> she's not, <laughs> this whole thing was a pitch. You gotta get on her level. Oh my god. You guys are playing checkers, I'm playing chess. Got him. Playing go, motherfucker. <laughs> if you cut horns too close to the skull. What's crazy is I grew up on a farm in Punjab, so you think I would know the answer to this question. What type of farm? <laughs> uh, dairy, well, we grew, we had agricultural stuff. We grew milk. Yeah, we grew, yeah. We grew wheat right and rice. Right off the stalk. Oh, okay. But we also had buffaloes. Oh. And so, but our, our milk, like, it wasn't something we sold. Like, we kept it for ourselves, is what I should say. So do, yeah, 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 absolutely. And buffalo milk is, like, amazing. Lots mm. of farming in my, um, lots of farming in my family. But sometimes too. their horns uh, grow in, yes. like, to the skull, and you have yes. to, like, wire them off. Oh, yeah. shit, okay. And you don't sedate them when you do that. So no. I'm assuming, like, that didn't hurt Bellacore. I don't think so. Probably not. If you Maybe ripped the, the horn I mean, out from the base, it would probably hurt. I guess it did, like, was he young when it happened? Older? Was he a demon prince at the time? Maybe he was a human when, maybe he actually just had eyebrow rings as a human, and then when he became a demon prince. Does that mean my eyebrows are gonna turn into horns? Because if so, I'm gonna have some <laughs> gnarly horns. Yeah. I'm gonna have some fucking gnarly yeah. horns. I just literally warn you, you don't want to start a conversation about Bellacor or horns. Like, it, he's going to match you. Every, he's going he's gonna to follow you the whole way down. Oh, yeah. He has thought down about this, like, this dark shit. Path. Yeah. He has thought about this shit. Listen, Bellacor is a troubled boy. And it, it, it's okay. It's okay. He's, seen, he's been through some shit. Like, I have so many questions. So, like, his horns are mm -hmm. these, like, spikes oh, on his boy. legs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They are peeking out of metal plates, which yep. means that's like puberty. That happened yeah. after that armor piece was oh, put yeah. on. Oh, yeah. I mean, he was a human to start, right? So he became, like, when you go down the path you of glory. Oh, yeah, you, yeah, you, here we go. Here's the lore train. When you go down the path of glory, you every time you succeed, you become mutated a little more and more. It's like in Total War. Yep. Oh, okay. So, um... He wanted to I'm become. I'm getting my ass beat in Total War right now, to be honest. It's hardcore. Dude. Yeah, it's great. I, it's the, the dwarves don't let me live, man. <laughs> they, those little fuckers don't break. So even like if I'm gonna win a battle, they're like down to the last man, and I'm like, mm. no, break. And I play like I always play like goblins or some shit. Yeah. And then I'm always my units break even if they're at like 90% health. They're like flee, they flee stay from breaking. the mountains, and I'm like, oh no. It's breaking two electric boogaloo. The spin rate is too fast. Is Belcor getting dizzy? Can you make it slower? Yeah. Oh, oh. Yeah. Is there a Did little goblin in there that turns yeah, it? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's his entire jaw. I think oh. it got faster. It definitely did not. Y'all. Kiko is getting dizzy. Oh, there's Kiko. Hi, Kiko. 
Kiko, I, I gave Jasmine the, uh, the other wet palette. I hope that that's okay. It's mine now. You know when I'm sad, I read that's an email okay. from Kiko. Kiko sent me after PAX West. And it was just, hey Jasmine, sorry I didn't get a chance to say hi to you, but I'm so happy that you're in Ak Inc. We're lucky to have you. And every time I'm depressed, I'm like, let me open up this email and be like, damn, Kiko thinks I'm cool. Yeah, Kiko cheers me up too. Yeah, Kiko cheers me up too. But it's true. He, he is always like, God, here, let's see. Let me, let me see if I can find some texts that we have sent. <laughs> Are you going to expose them? About you, yeah. You can't expose Kiko's DMs? I can. And I will. Hmm. I do like this glamour speed a lot more. Yeah. yeah. It's more diamonds are forever type of thing. Well, because yeah. it, it, it lets you see Bellacore's gels. <laughs> gels. I have dip polish on right now. I don't have gels. Here we go. Loose lips sink shit. We got two. You ready? Yeah. Here's the first one. Yeah. Goddamn, you and Jasmine are a fucking force of nature. <laughs> so that's the first one. Here's the second one. It happened again, Jasmine. Mm -hmm. It happened again later. I'll say it again. Oh, here we go. He put in the little shrug emoji. Uh -huh. I'll say it again. Jasmine might really be your daughter. The chemistry's insane. So there we, we do go. We do get along really well. No. It's, we we do get a, along really we well. We put on a hell of a show. <laughs> no question. I love our show. Yeah. It's really, really good and fun. Okay. So here, let's take this Bellacore. Mm hmm I'll give this to you, and then if you can give that to Eric, we're gonna be oh, okay. Oh, he's surprisingly light. I know, yeah. he's a, you know, not a hefty boy. Okay, so oh, he's wow. not—he's not perfect, but he will—but he will do in a pinch. He looks great. I, I, I'm super, super pleased with him. I gotta try to figure out. You did out such his... a good job on his toes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but he's he's just a great he's a great model because he's like feet he, they're, they're just they're just wigged out right like the yeah. wah basically they just float around like a cork on this psychic energy and he's got spells like green puke nice there's there's a spell called foot of gork so is this summon a giant foot yeah listen to this yes. so this is this is how it works within eighteen inches you identify somebody and then if you if you if you're able to get the spell off, basically a big foot comes down and stomps on the unit for a D6 mortal mm -hmm. wounds. And then you roll a D6. If it's a four plus, you do it again. And this happens forever. So Kiko and our friend Alex have played games where this spell just comes out and then it goes, stomp, 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 and kills the general. That's amazing. I think it is amazing. You can't, that can't be your whole strategy, but there is it. a magic foot. I that, love it. That's all I'm saying. Get your magic foot today. Yeah, exactly. So, so what are you working on next though? I got these little guys. These are brand new mm -hmm. and I'm really, so these guys are called Chosen. These are Varengard. Okay. Um, they're very special. They've done a lot of stuff. <laughs> they've done a lot to, of stuff. Listen, they've been recognized. Wow. It's a thing. They have a, they have a special meal. It's like Travis yeah. Scott. They have a special meal at at. Uh, but these at guys, Gale. they're just they're special, just yeah. not special enough to have a horse. Oh, so they're the same they're thing. They're still slumming it. Yeah. It's, it's like NXE. It's like they're the wrestlers that are like just getting on. Right. Right. So I want to do something different, and I didn't like this paint scheme for some reason. It, or like, I don't. There's something about it that just doesn't mm -hmm. work for me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you know it's Marshalls and not Talbots, but like. So I think I'm, I'm gonna just paint them yeah. like that. Yeah. Hmm. I'm very, very torn. They look cool. Yeah. yeah. Hey, yo, this is a good chaos guy. Yeah. yeah. He he's can gotta, hear you. He's yeah. gotta, I'm gonna cover his He's points. got a big axe. No, he, he deserves. He cover he the deserves head. It. It's like, like, like two, okay. Two figures. Chaos is like Ghostbusters when you yell at the goop. Right, uh, and, and it gets powerful. It gets powerful. Yeah. That's what you have to do with these boys. You got to really just make them yell at them. Yell at them. Mm. This is an unhealthy dynamic. Yeah. This isn't good. Well, welcome to the. See, Slaves but look of at orcs. Orcs are the manifest army. Yeah, we're all having. A, yeah, they exactly. They manifest Very stuff. Very much and then it so. Happens. Very much so. So yeah. So I mean, this is. It's about thirteen 
something points. 1300, 1360, I think. So I can play at a couple different ranges, but that weird knob is weird points wise too. Mm -hmm. It's like anytime I try to put him in, it's like pushing a balloon. Like anytime I try to get his number of points in there somewhere, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the whole thing falls apart. I gotta, uh, it's, a, it's at the point now where I have to play a slightly larger game, I think, to get, oh. to, to, to be able to put everything to play, that I want to put on there. With more toys is what you're getting at, right? But, yeah, 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 so. Yeah, These I, are some cool dudes. Yeah, yeah, I'm super excited. It took, me a, it took me a very long time. Yes, yeah, they have a, I, it's just hard not to like that crazy yellow. Like it just be, it's just so much fun. Like this is an army that is fun for other people to fight mm -hmm. because they look so gonzo. Yeah. They look nuts. Well then that just reaffirms that I should paint these guys in like some kind of candy color. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, get the, get the candy paint. Let me tell you, there's enough the turbo dork over there to right? candy coat anything. Yeah. Like black and purple. Yeah, I can see it. Okay, because Pathfinders are sneaky too. Or like a color changing. Like a purple color. Yeah, 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 yeah. like Just this go, blue raspberry. Go yeah. hog wild. But should I put that on the fabric or the metal? Ooh, metal. The uh, metal? I, yeah, a little gleam. A little weird. It's like, like, it's like some crazy his alloy. Helmet? His helmet's obviously like metal, right? Yeah. Yeah, that that yeah. that would be cool. Uh, but that's Peril, my you, you, are, you are correct to wonder how many layers that yellow is. So that's just flash gets underneath, which is like a really bright, almost bright green acid yellow. And then I swear to effing God, I just put the Imperial Fist contrast on top. Now there is an Iron Jaws contrast, but I don't like the Iron Jaws contrast enough. It's too orangey. Mm. I, I want it to be too much. Like I want it to be bright. Yeah, I, my paint style is also a little cartoony. Yeah, I just I yeah. wanted to I just wanted to. And then when I see people with like the really hyper realistic gritty armies, get in your I face, feel like, it's like okay. I feel like I'm a Fisher Price army. Yeah. Yeah. It's like you versus the orc she told you not to worry about, mm. you know? And that orc's like, hey, baby, and my orc's like, hi, I think you're pretty. <laughs> yeah, my, come look at my collection. Hey, come, you want to come to my house and look at my for, Warhammer? My, birth, my birthday's coming up soon. Yeah. It's and hard. their orcs are like, hey, baby, I have got a Camaro. Yeah. <laughs> you always see this firebird. It's like, man, I've got a, I've got a tercel. <laughs> I, I drive my mom's old Camry. Nerds. I'm like reading chat because that's my comfort place. This is what, well, no, when, no, I, when no, I paint on stream, this is what it's like. I kind of sit here and, and agonize over what to paint no, things no, for no, three no, hours. No, listen, Th you, there's no, you cannot do this incorrectly. The whole Really? I do the same shit. Dude, this is, dude, this is why I had to finish painting them at home yeah. so that I could bring them in yeah. because I will paint one guy for three hours. Look, right now they're beautiful and I could, I could potentially ruin that, you know? But right now they're gorgeous. Look at them, they're perfect. They're a blank canvas, they could be anything. The truth is... And the second I put paint on them, they could be the wrong color well, no, or janky. Exactly. You foreclose. Yes. You know what I mean? Right it's, now there's limitless potential, the potential energy alone here. It's like, you know what it is? It's MMO shit, right? So it's like you get into that new area mm -hmm. and you're popping off. Like last zone, you were killing everybody. Mm -hmm. And then you get into this new place. Nope. And it's like the loot's dropping mm -hmm. and it's good, mm -hmm. but it doesn't go at all. Mm -mm. These mm -mm. pants, mm -mm. they're not, there's no set bonus. They're like bright green. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Everything else is a clown. Everything else is raid gear. This isn't a tier set. No, absolutely not. But I feel like there's lots of I feel like there's lots of cool ways to do it. I wonder if one of the ways to to address. I love that they wear like pantaloons. Yeah, yeah, they're they're That's blooming like, out. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. Lo I love a baggy pant. Mm -hmm. That's my favorite. Well, listen, they're, the the Shazui Pathfinders. They're about comfort. Ultimately, <laughs> it's about comfort. You don't want to chase. No, no, you not on the chase. on the field of battle. No, no. But I wonder if an interesting way just to start and get comfy with it, and then maybe like try to have it help us know what to do, would be to start with a dry brush, Ooh. so that all the details are jumping out. Yeah, and then you can be like, oh, okay. Well, this is where I I want I want this to be shiny. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, it could be that they're. I mean, pathfinders are essentially like behind enemy lines. Stealth teams, like mm -hmm. the teams often have stealth suits mm -hmm. and shit like that. Mm -hmm. Silent drones, yeah. 
up close weapons, right? It, it could be that if you just dry brush one of them with, I don't know, even a shiny metal um, or even a white, just or a gray. I was going to say, yeah. Uh, and, and then you'll be able to see all the details. And you what's just paint, crazy is you just under these the lights, it's like a zenithal highlight. Like you can see. Oh, yeah, dude, we love it. Josh, Josh has got us set up so nice in here. Yeah. You put, you you can, put like, stuff exactly that looks fine the... over here. You put stuff that looks fine on this or in front of these cameras and they look like a million goddamn dollars. But I'm saying like, let, let's, let's just elevate the details. We'll just dry brush yeah. something quick. Yeah. Elevate the details and then we'll know, or it, that'll help us understand where they can, where they can shine, where they okay. can exceed. Okay. Right? Something to consider. No, that's a good idea. I'm gonna start with this guy because he looks the coolest. Well, yeah, he's got a, he's got a kick-ass pose. Oh, Avery Corbis, that's so kind of you. Thank you. All right. And then can I borrow a dry brush? Hell yeah. This is the one that I like to use. Everyone has such different methods of dry brushing. What do you do? Mm -hmm. I usually load up the paint with brush and yep. then wipe it off on a paper towel so it's like almost all gone. Correct. And then, so, okay, so we yeah. have the same I mean, dry brush I mean, that's process. A, that's how I do it. There may be another more hardcore way to do it, but I'm not, I'm not this sure. Is, this is also how I do it, okay. Yeah, this is, you'll like that. And, th and that, dry, that brush is like Should I do a bright up. silver or white? What do you mean? Well, for the, just for to do a little, dry brush yeah. to oh, pull the details oh. up so we can see what the palette is, right? So are you going to be doing like the metallic over it? Like, are you going to be doing like turbo dark over it? Maybe. Because some because, of those yeah. some of those dry brush details, these pop if you do like a metallic underneath. Oh, ah, yeah. so we should probably do like silver though. Yeah, maybe a room yeah, thing. Yeah, totally. Talking about a room okay. thing. Sorry, that's my room thing song. Because I'm like trying to... Yeah, because yeah, this is like, it is very... It is like plates of armor over oh fabric. Oh, I'm, just looking, I'm looking for a cool one. I think, I think it's one of your metallics is what you went over there. Mm -hmm. well, I, I'm just agreeing with you on the But metallic. I think the feet aren't armored. That's just their organic feet. Well, there we go. But then we'll, we'll just elevate the details. Yeah. What are you looking for? Um, silver, so a bright, yeah, shiny silver. Right here. Oh, okay. If you already had it up, then that's good. Wait, God of War is out? I thought it wasn't out until tomorrow. I thought, yeah, I thought it was late. I did not know that. It's looking pretty cool. God of War is out today. Well, there you go. UK time zone privilege. Oh. oh. That makes sense. I, I mean, I think we've all changed our uh, date. Amazon sent it out to some people early, too. Oh. And not me. What about, what about your girl? Oh, no, 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 I'm good. Since I'm just dry brushing on a new palette. Thank you, though. No, I'm I'm very gay and chaotic today. Waltzed in <laughs> half an hour late with a takeout bag of food. <laughs> and, my <laughs> and my nose running, half dead. And I'm like, hi. Hey. <laughs> hey, girls. Yeah, I just, I think that yeah, the fantasy scenario here is that that helps us know what it wants elevated. Since you did all the work to do the cool kit bash stuff, let's just bring it all up and take a look. I don't know if I did all the work to do kit bash <laughs> stuff. I kind of just kit bash it. Kind of just made sure all their faces were covered because I was like, "Ew." Yeah, this guy's some kind of weird hole in their face. I don't know what's going on with it. <laughs> it's it's a weird choice, Jess. I was not. Yeah, I was. I was not into the the faces being exposed. It is not. For me. Oh, Beth Damis. Thanks for the sub, Beth. <laughs> hey, now, Beth. Bronze I... half dead is still better than most of us at full power. I want to believe <laughs> that. <laughs> but Beth, I talked. I had a meeting over the weekend with someone who I think is a friend of yours. B.J. Hensley. 
I had never met her before, but of course, you know everybody. That's no matter where it is. That's a it's a cool power, dude. But no, she seemed cool. Seemed like she's been around a minute uh, in the industry doing shit. You gotta love people like that. Oh, yeah. They're usually not as, like, desperate as people who are brand new. Yeah, they're, they have That's a... That's mean to say. I'm gonna yeah, stop. but it's a... They, they are pragmatic, right? Like, they are conscious... They yeah, had, they, they had understand to work for that it. it's a process. Yeah. Yes. Whereas like people who are new let me let me rephrase that. It's not about desperation. It's about <laughs> ladder climbers, you know? Mm -hmm. I can't stand ladder climbers when people make it very clear. They think they're being sly, but they're not. And it's just very clear they're like, I'm gonna use you to get what I need, oh my you gosh. know? Or yeah. like how is this gonna benefit me type of vibes. And I feel like that's not gonna I feel like that's not gonna work for you. Uh Bronze, <laughs> I don't know. For me? Yeah, I, I feel like that personality type, like there's certain types of personalities. That, I just don't like that, that people think can't... they can outsmart me, where they're like, oh, I'm gonna make it very obvious. Like, oh, so for example, when I guessed it on Critical Role, there were people that had never like taken an interest or talked to me before that all of a sudden like messaged me and were like, oh. you're in Seattle, I'm in Seattle, you should run a game of D&D &D for me sometime. And I sent mm -hmm. them my rate sheet. Nice. Hey, yo. <laughs> but I was like, you've Got never, him. I've lived Got here him. for like so many years. You've never talked to me. Do you really think you're that sharp? That slick. You know? Yeah. So I just hate that people think they can, to me, it's like, just say your intentions. Be like, hey, I'm trying to break into the industry. I'm trying to do this in the space. Yeah. And it's like, I feel like I have a lot to learn. Right? Yeah. For me, it's just about... Cause I'll just say that stuff. I'll be like, I, I've told you, I'm like, hey, I want another season of Seattle by night. I'm never like, oh my God, Jerry, we should like play vampire and like see. Where... I'll just say it. I'll be I'm, like, I'm we should do another. I'm responding viscerally to this, this tone of voice. It's because it's real. You know what I'm talking about? Where it's like. Oh, I have a 13 year old at home. Real, I know all about it. Yeah, I have like a real, you know, agenda, but I'm gonna lie about what my agenda. I'm just like, just say what you want. That's so much more respectful to be mm -hmm. like. I've told people straight up. I'm like, oh, it would. I would love to write for your team, and they're like, oh, come write for us. Yeah, I mean, but that's the funny thing, right? Is that this is how I do it too. I just say the thing. It's so much less insulting. Yeah. But also, it seems to work. Like a weirdly high amount of the time. See, I just, I actually just really, really like your shit. I'm hoping there's some, I'm hoping that we can make something together at some point. Yeah. Thank you so much. That's it. That's the whole thing. It's kind of where I'm at too. Yeah. I That's too probably would like another along. season of Seattle by night. Right? Yeah. I have to have a well, meeting. Shit, man, Jason Carl would like another <laughs> season. <laughs> Sorry. I know. And I'll be talking to him this weekend. Well, please do. Wait, are you? Yeah. No way. They're like buddies, yeah. He's really cool. I really like him. But same thing with Jason. I saw Jason this last time I was in LA, and I just said it like really nicely. I was like, I was like, oh hey, I miss, uh, I miss sitting at your table, and I was like really cool about it. But I wasn't like, oh my god, Jason, <laughs> we gotta do something soon. I was just like, oh hey, Jason, how's it going? <sighs> I me. forgot That's what good. I said. I said something that was very out of pocket. And he was like, his reaction was, I haven't seen you in three years, and you're the exact same. And I was like, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, <laughs> but I'm going to take it as a compliment. But, so what's your, why do you have such a powerful vampire energy? I don't know. I do, though. Why are you, you do, though? Why, I why do. are you drawn to these, why are you drawn to, to Das Vampire? I have no clue. I, I don't know how it started, but like I think in general I've always had like a dark energy. You know, like I, I feel like people try to be goth and I naturally have a very sort of I was graveyard in the graveyard. Goth. <laughs> yeah. Energy. Yeah, I have like depressed writer energy. Mm. Oh. Which I'm okay with. Well, I, I I don't think that that's that's incorrect. I have I have been drinking with you and Yeah. That I tracks. Have, yeah, I have like big brood 
brooding energy, big brood lord energy. <laughs> I have big hang upside down in a warehouse. Yeah, I do. Energy. And I think I've had it since I was young is the weird part. I was like, why am I not cheery like everyone else? <laughs> so I think vampires have always like spoken to me because yeah. I'm like, oh yeah, I could see myself being immortal and still finding something to be depressed about. Oh, for sure. You know, I have big, I have that type of energy of like, oh, look at me. I have superhuman strength and I'm gonna live forever and I've still found a reason to be sad. I'm sad about it. Yeah, I'm sad about it. I'm sad about my vigor and power. I'm sad about my sheer sexual prowess. I'm bummed out. The kingdoms I've conquered. Yeah, I'm bummed out about being an erotic god. Yeah. Where are we at now? What? <laughs> Erotic divinity. My gosh. But yeah, how did your um? You had a that that D twenty. Yes, and I was just on shit. um actually too, which is like a it was like a, a game show, which is kind of like I did it while I was down in LA. Busy week. It was a busy week. And what sucks is like, I feel like since I'm so good about masking and stuff, like I- and What do you mean by that? Like other people have stopped masking and I'm still doing it. Oh, oh, oh. Masking also has a- Yes, yeah, yeah, yes, a yes. Yeah, different, yeah, different uh, I do that too. I do that too. Like a neurodiversity thing. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's what I was trying to get. You mean like the physical fucking mask. Yeah, yeah. yeah okay, thank you. Um, All right, I'm back. My, I feel like my immune system has gone to shit since then. Oh, right, right, because right. Because I haven't been sick in like four years, yeah, but yeah, everyone else has like stopped. So like I went down there so and everything- kind of building up the- Yeah, everything was like fine. And I got my flu shot, I got my booster. Mm -hmm. And we test every day you're on set. You have to, yeah, right? Yeah. Those are the norms. Yeah, so it's good to know like you're safe there. Um, but- It's like a porn set, I guess. Well, there we go. This hadn't occurred to me. We don't have to discuss it at length. It just occurred to me that that's something that they, they probably that do. exists on yeah, both no, of those. you're right. I mean, I think it is true. Yeah. I don't think I made that up. I don't think you made it up either. Anyway, please continue. I lost my train of thought. <laughs> oh no, you're 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 masking. Oh, you're masking. So, oh yeah, yeah. This dude. This is what I saw. I love actually. <clears throat> this like is what I saw movie? in Oz. Huh? I was like, because I mean, I am still like, depending on the context, mm -hmm. and certainly like at shows. I'm masking. I definitely fucking wear a mask. I just do. Yeah. I'm still doing it. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And now I'm starting to wonder. I mean, having having been out to LA, so you probably saw what I saw there, which is that it's on the not, porn set you were at, apparently, no, it's not really. It's they're not really masking. No, they're not. Right. Yeah. And in Oz, it's more or less the same thing. Yeah. And so like it's it's been crazy because like between that and everything, it's like. I don't know, like, I feel like this sort of like malaise or sadness of like, things have gone back to normal, but they'll never go back to normal. How did I get on that? I told y'all I'm so again. depressing. I'm so no, no, negative. No, 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 no. We're just gonna we say, like hard. effortlessly negative. I don't, I, I this, promise I don't do it on purpose. I'll just like say some shit that's like really sad for no reason. This, this is, this is my energy. You, you're, this is, this is my wheelhouse. I have precisely zero problem discussing actual things. And then people things. will be like, oh, but you're such a downer. I'm like, to me, it's not a downer, though. Like, to me, it's like, I don't know. It's like just a normal conversation. Well, no, I think that we better we better start How's acquainting. How's that dry brushing, Chad? Take a look. We better start acquainting ourselves with these concepts. Jerry. What? Do you have my friend Rizzy and Gray? Hell yeah. OK. You have <laughs> friends, imagine. Here, you need it? Just, just a little bit. No, so I, I have it in my pellet. Okay, yeah, see, this is what I'm talking about. But, right? We're seeing a lot Whoa, more look at those now. Guys. Yeah, we're so seeing a lot more now. They look great, no, but now you don't we have to know do anything. where the details are. Yeah. Yeah. Now we know yeah. exactly what to do, right? And mm -hmm. so everything, everything with the, with the with the brush, everything that we have hit that really has the coating, we know mm -hmm. that that's where you want your buggy, mm -hmm. shiny metals, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. then it could be that the center part, because you're you're thinking of them like. Um, like a Mjolnir suit. Yeah. Right? Yeah. The underweave on that is always just the, it's like a, but the black 
base. Yes. Right. Yes. And so I, I, I think that I think that. I don't think I actually have to do much with the pants I if I keep it black. You do. Yeah. No. I think those get I left think alone. Maybe like the the, the high the parts of the cloth can be like exactly. highlighted with some like gray and exactly. white. Exactly. I think we just we just we just grab the paint at the at like the, 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 the level of viscosity oh. that we want, mm -hmm. and we just start addressing some of these things. And the dorks, because Kiko messed around with dorks, Eric has messed around with the turbo dorks. Do you water these down? No, they because they're actually made um, so you can airbrush. put them through airbrush. So the big oh. thing I learned because I was talking to him, I'm like, how the hell do I use these? They're like, yeah. um, you use like a shiny undercoat uh -huh. if, if it's like a metallic, uh -huh. and that'll make it look a lot better. Exactly okay. right. So so okay. if you throw that on here, like we're gonna be able to see real results in seven days or less. That's right. Yeah. No, I'm saying you already have the goo. You know what you want, and now we know where it needs to go. I am. What can we do to get you into blue raspberry today? today. I'm so excited. <laughs> That I, get I love you all. Y'all are fantastic. I, I, I'm so well. Thank you so much for coming in. Are you starving? Do you need to get some of this, this food? Oh you yeah, I forgot I brought it because I got so distracted by having my army. Well, no, no, it's, it's exactly. Well, there was there was no room before. I love that they just gave me a whole container of butter. Ooh. Wow, well, French restaurant, I guess. Listen, it's needed. All right. I'm gonna go get a spoon from the kitchen. And I will should. be right back. God bless. Oh God. We'll see you this soon. Be, are you sure? I can go get it. I'm not a diva. <laughs> well, we've seen your you're, writer. You have a job that you're, you're doing. Connected. I'm like, no, you have, you yeah. have a job that you're doing. I'm just sitting here bullshitting. Yeah, we've, we've seen the Jasmine writer. It's got yeah. French but, butter. It, the M&M like, discrepancy is unbelievable. All blue and all red. Nothing well, else, yeah, no other yeah, color. Exactly. Like, it's, like, it's like M&Ms that like, well, are only... Fast. Yeah. M&Ms that are only from Japan. Yeah. Yes, I have to have my Japanese M&Ms, Gary. <laughs> it's so simple. <laughs> yeah, exactly right, Dances. We're moving into a mukbang direction. It's time. It's time for the mukbang? Yeah. Is it, can you explain like how that whole, do you know how that whole like thing came about? Like mukbangs? Josh might know. Josh, is this in your wheelhouse? I don't know. Yeah. Korean, I think. What's the premise of it? Like what's the, what's the genre? Food eat. Just eat as much food as possible, is that it? Food no, bite? Just eating food with other people watching. What? That's it? Yes. Oh, I thought there was a thing to it. No, I thought it was like you gotta eat like X no, amount. No, like. no, no, no. This is not it's not gamified. Oh. No, people just stunt it. Like it especially like on YouTube thing. where they eat big gross amounts it sounds of sounds like a sex thing, but like covered in cheese shit. No, it but. got weird. But it's not so okay. It so used it, to be it's weird. like just like I could be on stream eating waffles and that would be it. That's a mukbang. Correct. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was like you had to be eating waffles that are like a foot high, covered in bacon, with maybe like you know, some chicken on it or something like that. Well, well, like in the beginning, people used to just go to like you know do a, do a stream in Japan and go to different restaurants and essentially close out the restaurant and have just a private stream in the restaurant. Oh. QVDV, parasocial eating, yeah, basically. What if food, with all the fun of a social interaction? Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, it's just a YouTube subgenre or live stream. Yeah. Some of that on Twitch, but not tons. It's more of a YouTube thing. Man, these... 
the Fenrisian. This is like the last part of these. And it's been a long time coming. Like I, I have been excited to do it. And it is fun to finally have a chance. Yeah. I'm uh, actually, I'm getting better with my lines. Oh yeah? Uh, edge line, like, and. Uh, oh, on the, uh, just around the edge, like for yeah. shines and stuff? Like I'm, because I'm being more patient and being very light with my stroke. Yeah. And that's something I'm, I never do. You oh, still be have Halloween candy yeah, out? Yeah, it's, it's Hell great. yeah. What did you secure? A Snickers. Hell yeah. To this day, I will never forget <laughs> Mike being like, that's a risky candy. You got veins of caramel in there. That's risky. You really want to eat that right before you go on camera? This is very Mike. Do you Mike. remember this? This is very Mike, yeah. And then, because I always had candy in my dice kit, and I would always share with him. And then, we're doing our shout-outs, uh, introducing ourselves. <clears throat> I pop my Snickers in my mouth. It's his turn. He immediately was like, actually, I would like Jasmine to go. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. And I just sit there chewing, like trying to speed chew the Snickers with one finger up. This is and Mike. then I end it and just say "fuck you," <laughs> <laughs> and that was like one of our bloopers. <laughs> that is my friend Mike in a nutshell. <laughs> it was a good time. It's a it's a great moment. We had a great time, just in general. And it was a cool campaign, and I I love my character. Your character's so good. I could just watch. Just you and Jason go back and forth for three hours. Dude, we had a we we got on some kind of fucking level, man. So you were inside each other's brains. Yeah, it's the like unimind shit. But that character, it's like that's already like an established dude, and I just ended up making someone like that already. Wait, he didn't make that NPC for you? No. I thought he did. God, he's so great. I love Jason. Yeah. It's just a you say guy. I have vampire energy. Dude, that mother... Yeah, he Could is Could you imagine Jason vampire. working anywhere else? No. He has vampire energy. How would he? You don't have vampire energy. No. You have mouse guard energy, but that's yeah. a good thing. Yeah, that's the right type of energy. <laughs> Got that mouse guard energy. Mm-hmm. MGE? Is that what it's called? Maybe. Sounds like a rapper name. Yeah, yeah. It, it's a, it's a it's a cool ass game. It's like CSI Redwall. I would play that in a heartbeat. I really want to use so Torchbearer is like, imagine Mouse Guard. But bleak. But yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> so imagine imagine that. Um, like you just hate the world. Imagine D and D as a survival horror game. Okay. Torchbearer is like, what if D&D &D was like a real thing? Like, what if your job really was to go underneath the earth and get fucking money out of it from monsters? God. It's, it's fucking bleak. Um, so I've really wanted to... Have you ever read um, The Black Company? I think I started it. It's kind of cool. It has a good vibe, but it's, it's definitely its own creature. It's written by a, like a cantankerous engineer, and so that comes across sometimes. Mm. Um, but yeah, the the vibe of it is basically like um, it's mercenary life. Um, like what it would actually be like to live this way, and you know, be paid to do these things. Um, so it's basically like military, it's like military fiction, because he was a military guy as well. But the, the guts of it are just about, like, a lot of it has to do with, like, the practicalities. And, um... Got way too much silver on there. Yeah, is it, is it two bonks now? Oh, mm. easily, easily brought down. A little bit much there. So it's like a realistic war sim. Yeah, 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 exactly. But they're but they're like the operations that this group is a part of are 
you know, relatively small. So it's sort of like a classic conflict film. But it's pretty down in the mud. Um, I like that stuff. Yeah, it's not aspirational. The camaraderie is aspirational, but the everything else about it is pretty bleak. I go back and forth. Sometimes I like my grimdark. I like my Warhammer. Other times mm -hmm. I like my solar punk. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. There's there's a place for all of it. But one of the things like that... have you seen Edge Runners? Yeah. In places that was like a bit much for me, where I was like, I need something good to happen. Yeah. You know, yeah. like Laura, I need something I'm good to happen in. right now. I'm a hundred percent in. Yeah, you like the misery? Oh no, Laura's pitching an idea. She's like, I had time to. Pitch an idea of a, a coven turned into a nursing home called Grandpire the Masquerade. Grandpire the Masquerade. Done. Laura. Done. God. That's I'll, so I'll good. I'll run that campaign, that chronicle. You know, I had too much paint on my brush in a couple places, but I still think this guy came out. Oh, for the dry brush? Yeah. Yeah, that's my fucking life. Yeah. For sure. There, you can tell where I got it right, and you could tell where there was too much on the brush. Absolutely, but all of that, all of that is just going to look like detail. <coughs> oh, no. Um, all of that's going to look like... Bless you. Thank you. Um, it's all going to look like you meant to do it. Yeah. At the end of the day, yeah. like as, as soon as the cool shiny stuff goes on top of it, you're gonna look like a million dollars. You're gonna look like a million bucks. You're gonna love the way you look. Okay, now I will take a palette if you don't mind. Is it Excuse time? me, sir. Can I you please I'm gonna try it. I'm, I gotta see it. I gotta see what it looks like. Is it time? I'm gonna I'm gonna put some I'm gonna put some on here and just see what it looks like. I know it takes several yeah, it's, several it's... coats, but I think I'm gonna put it on this plate here. Yeah, because it's for the yeah, super the head piece. Like super yeah, shiny the metallics, piece. right? And then I'm gonna see what it what it does. What it do? Let's see what it's all about. All right. I would like to see as well. Wow! Wow! Can I borrow another brush? I Absolutely. want one of those, because you follow Rahul Goldley, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Have you seen his travel set? Set? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's on, so um, dope. It's pretty tight. Just like this, just like a cute little small one. I'm not picky. Oh, that works too. There's like this Etsy Thank thing you. That, like, that you can get it on That's Etsy. Perfect. Somebody makes them. Oh, yeah? They're, yeah, they're rad. It's like a briefcase, basically. I don't know what brand he has. I haven't drank this water, so I'm just going to use this one. <laughs> oh, is it? Yeah. You are brave putting it in a mug. I've, I've drank so much paint water in my life. It's been close. Y'all don't want to know how much paint. For me, it's not that I drink the paint water. It's that I dip my brush in my coffee. Oh, yeah. Like, it, I, like every it's time. It's the inverse. Yeah, yeah. So And then I take a sip, and nice. I'm like, oh, that's a little painty. And then I sit and debate on whether or not I want to make more coffee or whether I'm just going to drink it. And sometimes, yeah. depending on the level of paint, I just drink it. Yeah, it's just that math works itself out. Yeah, Rahul's travel case is like a wet dream. It's got like lights in there. It's freaking gorgeous. Lights. He has lights in his. Come on. And I'm like, when am I going to be a famous actor that can have this crazy travel set? <sighs> okay, we got it. The, the big twist? The big twist. It's so funny because when... This isn't my first Turbo Dork paint. Mm -hmm. I used the gold one, mm -hmm. but I mostly used it, I think, on terrain. Oh. It's so fun. funny because I went to the game store. Oh. No, there, I'm yeah. not going to name it because it's a bad story. Oh. Okay. Understood. I went to the game store to, to, to buy more, and I was very specific about what I was getting. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't like, you know, a starter set or anything. Right. I shook the hell out of this, and it was still very clogged at the tip. Yeah. I'm gonna try a fresh thing. Is this supposed and to do that? And you even use the and you even use the wiggler? Huh? And you even use the wiggler. I use the wiggler. Um if you do it down, it'll get the thing Oh. Tap on and just like tap Okay, gotcha, gotcha. <clears throat> That's what I do. No no no, I need I need feedback. So then I went and uh, the person 
who was working there kind of started am like I, am I gonna am I gonna not like this story? Probably. <laughs> sounds like it. They started sounds doing like, what? It sounds like it where it like where it's going with it. Yeah. So I've got what? I've got normal Citadel paints and mm -hmm. then I've got a couple of turbo darks in there and they're like, oh just so you know, these aren't normal paints. <laughs> and I was like, um I'm aware. And he's like, okay, because these are like really metallic. And, you know, it, I, I, they're not really for beginners. And I was like, that's oh, okay. Oh, boy. And then he's like, weren't you a player on Coffin Run? And in my head, I'm oh, like, shit. I dungeon mastered it. But sure, guy. <laughs> I was just like, <laughs> it was just such a funny interaction where I was like, Anybody with two brain cells can tell it's not a normal paint because this yeah. is the normal paint and this is the turbo Yeah, yeah and it's also <laughs> called turbo yeah. door. Yeah. I was just like, okay. <laughs> it's still foam. <laughs> I've like foamied it. What? Maybe I put it on the wiggler for too long. Oh no, this is like clogged clogged, which is crazy because it's new. Hmm. You see this? Like nothing's it's, coming it's out. Chonky. Nothing's coming out. It's just foam. It's rich. It's a rich gravy. And I, it's brand new. I just opened it. Oh, there it, oh, there it is. Did we have it? It happened? <laughs> Nasty. That's wow, chaos the right that? there. That's liquefied chaos. Oh, wow, that is hardened. Shit, though. Like I don't think that's painted. Oh, yeah, 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 dude. This oh, is, this is sick. A, it's sick. Oh, this, I'm is gonna the throw video for, this is the video for sober. This is brand new. So I endured that harassment at the game shop for dried out paint? Yeah, exactly. You, you understand. These these paints are chunky. Uh, they're cottage cheese. They're not for uh I'm like newbies. sick. That looks disgusting. Is this a, <laughs> is, are you sure this is a paint? Well, here, here, here. What? This is so Wait, gross. I was just going to say, here, yeah, yeah, it's blue raspberry. I endured that for dried out paint. Yep. Bro. You heard me break the seal. This is brand new. Yeah. Well, here, here, here. Let's, let's, try, let's try V2. <laughs> oh, God, it's so gross. Ooh, that, that is it's creep, little, like, <laughs> it's not even like breaking out like a <laughs> Citadel dry <laughs> Don't do any more. It's so nasty. <laughs> it's so nasty. Stop doing it. <laughs> How does that happen to paint? That was been sitting on the shelf for forever. forever. Probably because of that man's poor customer yes. service. Because well, he yeah, kept he, talking no, people no, out of no, buying you, it. Yeah, exactly. He's just like, oh no, don't buy that. Yeah. Don't buy that. It's not for You're beginners. <laughs> <laughs> just so you know, that's not normal paint. Yeah, exactly. Sorry, that's paint for smart people. He yeah. said that to the 30 people before me, and now the resulting. Now, I'm going to do it to 20. And now the paint is crisp. Sub right now, chat. Sub right now, or I keep doing it. <laughs> yeah, bring those subs in. Disgusting. Oh, that's fucking vile. I was sitting here, I was like, am I am I weak? <laughs> yeah. I was like, why is no, this no, not dude, coming you, out? You squoze it until the top shot off like a bullet. <laughs> or it's done that a few times. Yep. But that's okay. Alright, here. Now here. How does that happen? How well, does that I don't know. Happen? If, if, if we if we open this up and put it out and it's this consistency of cottage cheese, we have to ask questions about blue raspberry. So yes. let's try V2. Maybe, All right. maybe we're thinking. Maybe right, we're okay, thinking. This, this one has been opened. I put it hog wild on this. Okay. It was going, it was going okay. crazy. Okay, let's white find a clean color. one. See, this looks like paint. Oh, see, but this isn't, this isn't something spawned of chaos. This no, is... no, exactly. This looks I like. I get no blue out of that raspberry. But again, we, we don't know what's going to happen. what's going to happen once you put it on. Exactly, because it, it's, it's a transparent layer. Oh, right? okay. All right. All right. You gotta like mix it up. Yeah, it's looking no, thick. I think it's. I think it's. God, it's looking thick and ri uh, yeah, we're, not no, gonna, don't we're not say gonna. That. Don't say that. We're not gonna go don't into. Go down that we're path, just gonna please. leave it be. This is a, a normal. <laughs> I'm not eating anything. <laughs> it's what? a normal. Where did you even get the idea I was gonna eat the paint? <laughs> it's obviously it's normal. It's obviously it's a. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, it is color Holy shifty. Shit. Yeah. Look yeah, at it goes cool. on like pink. Oh, exactly. So this is why you want the shiny underlayer, so that the face part, that little triangle, yeah, that's gonna jump out under yeah. this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Listen, I don't eat Dude, this poison. Balls. I just, that I needed to try good. a beer that sounded amazing, and I was willing to jeopardize my body to try that beer. Right, because of the poison. Yeah, is it of paint? The no, no, it's actual beer, but it's actual beer. He can't. He can't eat, he cannot eat of the uh, tree nut. Tree nuts. 
Oh. And this particular beer had the tree nut within. And you still, took you still took a sip? Took a sip. Rolled the dice of life. And then yeah. washed it down with another beer. That did not have tree nuts. Here, no, I was just going to say, so I have been drinking with you, but I don't remember what you were drinking. Do you drink beer? Yeah. No, that's what I got very, very drunk on. <laughs> was they had those, at what East? was it? Yeah, at East. That East place. is oh, when we yeah. drank. Brewery. Was it Overguard or? Um, it was right down it's the road. It's the place that does like boom three, sauce. Yeah. Do you remember that the bartender liked me and she gave me that whole six pack for free? Yeah. Because I was pulling them off at and the giving end? to everybody. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. It was kick ass. <laughs> I I am a gr I, I know exactly where beer should go. Know this. And the bar had closed. I leaned yeah. over the front. I did a very drunk bronze girl move where I just smiled very wide and I said, hi, I know you already did last call. And she said, what do you need, baby? <laughs> and I was like, I wanted another beer. She's like, here, take the six pack, get out of my hair. No, hold on a second. Didn't, didn't we just, haven't we been talking for like a half hour about using these wicked vocal tones? Yeah. And how it's beneath us? Yeah, unless, I've, unless I'm like unless eight I'm trying beers. To get, unless I'm trying yeah. to get drunk. Unless I'm like eight beers deep, yeah, then it's different. like, then it's fine. I would never do that to take advantage of somebody. Well, no, know. and and obviously she was down to clown. She was. That's the other part. Yeah, she knew I was uh, on demon time, as the kids say. <laughs> she was into it, chat. She was into my demon time. She supported. Listen, sometimes you want hi. Yeah, sometimes you need to hit him with a hi. Yeah. Oh my God, this is so embarrassing. <laughs> but. But no, that, that, place, that place was kick ass. That was fun. I they would had, they really had love another beer. They had nothing but banging shit on tap. And they certainly didn't have that. I mean, we've been going out to PAX East since before there were hotels out there. You either got a hotel in the attached, you either got a room in the attached hotel, yeah, or, uh -huh. or you bust in. Really? Yeah. It, that, that center was built aspirationally. Damn. I really like Boston. What's not to like? Yeah, no, Boston is my vibe. Philly scares the shit out of me, but I don't dislike it. Yeah, I'm not I'm not an expert yet. We gotta talk to Ryan. Yeah, Philly kinda I don't know what it is about Philly. It scares me. Just don't know it yet. Yeah, I just don't know it yet. I feel like a stranger in a strange land. Mm. I can't stop looking at this. This is so <laughs> Is it is it cool? No, this. <laughs> oh, the mush. Oh, God, the the gunk. <laughs> what is that? That's chaos. That's not paint. I'm, I'm here this to tell you right now. This is how the chaos lord responds. We thought it was the you know elven debauchery. It wasn't. No. It was this no. fucking paint. It looks good. Huh? It's very color shifty, right? Oh, I like how I pulled it out of the, the camera. Okay. It does look like it's going to take maybe 300 layers to pop, though. <laughs> yeah, Kiko's... I think this is why people like to use them in an airbrush. But you wouldn't be able to get what you wanted out of this if you did no. an airbrush, so... No work. No work so good. All right. I also like don't know how thick you want to glob it on because it is a little gloopy and very. I'm. It has a texture. You know how like some people don't thin their paints. Mm -hmm. I'm on the extreme other side where I thin my paints to where it's like, is that even depositing color? Because <laughs> I like it like very thin. Yeah, I want mm -hmm. nine thin coats. Yeah, yeah. I'm a nine thin coat kind of gal. Oh, yeah. You know what they call me, Susie Nine Coats. <laughs> Susie Nine Coats. It's on the. Uh... I mean, obviously, I'm, I'm subscribed to the Reddit. Mm. Susie Ninecoats is Reddit? Yeah. We got an insider. I used to spend a lot of time on Reddit. Yeah, my, my eldest is an enthusiast. But you know what, you know what they are doing? What? I think I love this. This brings me so much, this brings me real joy. There's starting to be a thing where people are going back to Tumblr. Oh yeah, I've I, seen that. Yeah. Is that a thing, really? Like, that, I didn't yeah. know Tumblr was still existed. No, it's huge. It, yeah, what? that's what I'm talking about. 
What are you G for? We never left. We, we never, never stopped, stopped playing. <laughs> like, oh, now they stopped. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah they, they stopped it, twice. It, it happens. Uh, no, no, no. I, that's like in their group, like there's still all kinds of great content on there. They're, they're softening some of their hmm. wicked rules. Oh, okay. But yeah, I, I don't look, I don't, it is, it's a social network. It's, yeah, it's nice. <laughs> Twitter was my favorite social network. It so. works. When you, when you say was, is that like a, is it some past tense? Everybody's leaving now and all the doom. Are saying, they actually? Yeah. That's what I'm trying to figure I've out. I've lost really? like over a thousand followers. Oh, yeah. okay. well, this, this has happened to me as well. Like literally the last yeah. week, uh, about 800 yeah. something. It's pretty crazy. But are people are people actually going to like Mastodon or whatever it is? I don't think anyone's leaving. I think they just don't want to be on there anymore. Yeah. If that makes sense. Like I don't think they're leaving for something else. Right. And yeah. Oh my god! Did the band make a social media platform? Like I didn't. No. <laughs> no, it's a federated network. <laughs> yeah. For for me, I think that. Um, I mean. Uh, Something a better thing would be like, just reclaim that time, right? Yeah. Like Brenna, Brenna has a thing that comes up on her phone, and by eight thirty in the morning, her phone says, "Hey, you're you've used Twitter uh, enough for today." That's great. By eight thirty. Oh no, no, she just she just ignores it. But I'm just saying <laughs> it's there. Doesn't mean she's gonna. <laughs> I'm, I'm Listen, saying it's just a suggestion. Yeah, I'm saying that by eight, or by eight thirty, the alarm has come up and said, "Hey, stop, uh, stop doing Cut this. Cut off. Stop doing it." But no, it's a it's a crazy place. I'm on it for work stuff, yeah, exactly. you know, yeah, totally. and kind of have to be. And it's it's the one social media platform I like understand. So I think for me, it's a good place to be. I understand Reddit and I understand Twitter, and that's it. And the rest of them, I don't really get. Yeah, Mike is very. Maybe that's why you get along with Mike so well. Mike is very Reddit. Yeah, I like Reddit. Reddit is very... Reddit gets a bad rap. People everywhere else hate Redditors, but... Yeah, they have a reputation, but I don't even understand what they're referring to. But it used to be, like, such a good, like... Well, I think when some of it used started, to be, right? like, right? they mobilized and they were wrong a couple times, uh, and since okay. they oh, haven't oh, been able oh, to oh, come went, back Oh, they that. went hog wild. Oh, it created, like, a, like some... Like, there was, like, this... Like social um, like, At sure, least that's the research I did, is, like... Um, I'm sure, like, the GameStop stuff didn't They help. accused some normal RuneScape streamer, I want to say. Oh. Of, yeah, of being a pedophile. This type of stuff. Oh, wow. Yeah, and, like, people went after... Or, no, wait, no, that was Keepstar. No, they did something like that, though. Right, chat? Chat probably knows. They did something like that, where, like, they basically accused somebody innocent of something really bad, and they did... Oh, it was the Boston Bomber! You guys are right! Yeah. And they and they, yes. compi they did their own sleuthing. Wait, what? And they, yes. co they accused the completely wrong person. That person didn't even do anything. They just, like, went after them for no reason. I wonder if we put this under this light, how crazy this shift is going to be. Oh! Whoa! Whoa. It's purple and blue, and that's only on that one coat. Right as hell. They here, look like bugs. I kind of here, love you it. The, can, can you, get, can you get the mega zoom? That looks freaking awesome. That looks crazy. That's one coat. It's is, like this, is this how you came to be known as one coat Jasmine? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is it is it so efforts like this? Ghost is gone. Mm -hmm. It looks dope. It looks like they look like a, a bug almost. Oh yeah, dude, this is this is all the way live. See, Kiko's picking up what I'm putting down. Halo Covenant. Yeah, I wanted to go with like yeah, Halo the, vibes. The, the, the um, yeah. uh, Elytra, like a mm -hmm. beetle shell. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah, dude. This <laughs> this is gonna be fine. It's gonna be so easy. Just come in and do. You can just come in and do spots like the the orbs on the on the yep. rifles or yep. whatever. Just pop it with some other metallic color. Yeah, take like a really bright turquoise for the lights and the helmet and stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just let it shine. Yeah. 
Yeah. Okay, so that worked like a fucking dream. Yeah. And that's a dry brush with a coat? Yeah, one coat. Hell yeah. That pops. It looks really good. Yeah, it does. The shift is working. Yes. Oh, that's a good point. It has a stealth Gundam kind of look. That way, if I ever oh, add yeah. stealth suits, I can paint them in the same color. Well, yeah, and it'll be even easier there because they've got all kinds of crazy details that'll just jump right off the model. Oh, I didn't get it. You can brush it. <laughs> yeah. I'm so sorry. Got a kind of samurai armor look at the back. Oh, yeah, they do. Oh, with your add-on? Mm -hmm. The backpacks and stuff? They have a lot going on. Each of them has like a different loadout according to what equipment I gave them. Oh, cool. Well, and I mean, judging from the conversation that we had about the Tyranid warriors, no doubt there's a lot of complexity mm. inside the oh helmet Oh my God, as well. this would have looked so good on the Nids. Yeah, well, oh, that totally does. Mike did right? some of this. Yeah, yeah almost like a, like a nail polish. Yep. Yeah, or like a green. I would actually probably do a green shift on yeah, the Nids on to make carapace? them look kind of like beetles, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. The green black color shift. Mm. I might have to get that for the nids. Dude, that's a winner. And the best part is that you can just go onto the nids themselves, do, do the dry brush, mm -hmm. but then call out specific parts mm -hmm. with some other paint and then still hit it with one layer. Mm -hmm. But then everything underneath is going to have its own sort of identity from that. You're right. Also, go to a different shop this time. Throw that out there. I get so mad about that kind of stuff because I worked at a game store for three years. Yeah. Oh, totally. But you so imagine? I hate when people are like, they exhibit poor behavior, you know? I'm like, don't do that. Especially in that. It's just completely unnecessary. Like, I don't have interactions with other people that I'm not forced to. The idea, yeah. <laughs> the idea, that, the idea that I'm going to go out of my way yeah. To develop rancor yeah. with someone that I've never met before. Oh, well, oh, I don't even think it's like ill intent. I think it, they just don't think about things, you know? A lot of stuff is just like thoughtlessness. Well, are you, you getting know? a shot of my food? No, you're kidding. Oh. Did you order Indian food? Fuck yeah, man. You got Indian food, didn't you? Yeah, you want some? It's good. I'm <laughs> looking <It's good. laughs> <laughs> over, I'm like, you order Indian food? I did not order it. I did not not order it. If you're working over metallics, you could do something like all over dry brush of lead belcher. Oh. Another metallic, yeah. Isn't lead belcher a little dark? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But I thought that um, I thought that rune thing would be nice just because it would have sharper. Mm -hmm. It would give you more. Uh, more detail would emerge underneath, but lead belcher would be would be tuned down, right? Can I can I take one of these? Is yeah, one? yeah, take one. His back plate, I've kind of missed here. Oh yeah. Dude, all, all you're gonna do is come in with a couple cool details. I'm shocked that this kind of came together in. I thought this like was gonna take steps. like yeah. I thought this was gonna take like forty coats. No, no, no. You could. All it's gonna do is enhance that effect. You can go as hard on that as you want, but. Okay, Turbo Doric, come through. Not beginner friendly, my ass. Yeah, you put one coat on. You probably sold a Turbo Dork. I did. I sold a Dork on Turbo Dork. Mm. Now, if only we could just get, like, Mike and get free shit in the mail. Uh, well, that's how we got the Turbo Dork. <laughs> just, like, be like, oh, wow, this Turbo Dork is amazing. Well, I mean, the Turbo Dork you're using right now was acquired via a similar method. That's actually really cool. They're very nice people. Yeah, it's a cool squad. They're, oh, they're super cool. I got to meet them all at um, Gamma. 
And oh, God, that smells fucking good. You want some? <laughs> I got a lot of rice. <laughs> Listen, I got a lot of rice. I will happily share it. I like how you got Indian food and I brought a fucking Par- parfait. parfait. <laughs> the most white people food ever. You cannot yes. tell me. From the mall. You cannot yep. tell me uh-huh. what is more white people than a parfait. You know? What, in the plastic bowl? In the plastic bowl. (laughs) That is it. It gets worse. It gets worse, Jerry. Does it? This is dairy alternative yogurt. Oh, jeez. Because dairy doesn't always set well with me. Indeed. Even though I love dairy. Oh, yeah. It's, you're saying it's, it's, it's unidirectional. Imagine ordering it. Can I get the coconut yogurt parfait? (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> no, 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 it has to it has to have some kind of a truncation. And then Benson's no, over the... here like, can I get the tandoori chicken roti? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I wasn't joking Five about the jalebi. Five I'm... star spice. Oh, I'm like, yeah, I'll have the coconut yogurt parfait. Yeah, exactly. No, it, it, again, it has to have like, it, the, the coconut yogurt has to have its own name, like it's Kogurt or something like that. You have to like, when you're, when you're ordering it, it has to become, it has to become whiter somehow. Yeah, yeah. That's like people think the LA accent is like a heavy, oh, like a valley girl, a heavy valley girl. What it really is is like drawing out words and weird pauses. So it's like, can it's more you of a, a texture? believe? Uh. Like that. Like everything is like a really big mm-hmm. deal. Mm-hmm. Did you see that? Oh, it's more of a motive. Nice. And I Yogurt. told her. I told her there are six people in the party and she said we only wrote down four. That's the Valley Girl accent. People always lay it on yeah. really thick with the like, oh my, oh my god. god. But it's really more like, oh it's like a, my it, god. Becky. Can you believe? And you're just like <sighs> Not him. I'm done. This I'm is out. a horrible accent. I'm from Southern California, Jasmine. That is so accurate. You guys are really dramatic. Mm. I kind of love it because this see people are dramatic too. Mm. Well, they're dramatic in a way that is that is readily identifiable yeah. the world over. <laughs> like that's how dramatic. Are there any other brown people in chat where you just screech? <laughs> you know, if something's funny, you don't even laugh. You go ah! You know, like that's that's the kind of dramatic we are. Where if something's really funny, you don't even laugh. You just yell and you stand up you and walk around loud. in circles. Like you have to get up and walk away from the table. You do you ever do that when something's so funny? Yeah, you get up and you walk around and you just like screech. You know? You wail. So that's like I'm down for some drama, but the Southern California drama is a little different. All right, Jerry, so now I gotta ask. No. How can I help? Someone's at your house. Okay. Right now? Right now? No, oh, it's, it's, hypo- it's a hypothetical scenario. <laughs> do you have people at my home? I Jesus. do. I do. I have people Jesus at your home. It's all a ruse. I feel like home. Someone's at your Christ. house. Okay. Yeah. You've had a good time, but now it, you are, you, it is time to send the company off. Mm-hmm. Dude, this is, I feel called out already. Okay. What do you do to gently let them know it is time to go? The night is over, it's getting late, it's time to go. What do you do? Because everyone has a very different method for this, and I feel like the Pacific Northwest one, there's there's like one. It's it's a little passive aggressive, but there's like, the way Southern people do it is very different than the way Seattle people do it, and I'm curious how Jerry would do it. I stand very near the door. (laughs) <laughs> See, that's most, what I said when I said we don't laugh, we just shriek. The yeah. most passive aggressive. You stand, you stand near the door? I stand very near the door. Oh my God. Okay, what do you do? Uh, I just say get out. <laughs> get the fuck out. Get the fuck out. We're good. We're done here? Get your pants on and get out. Okay, apparently I'm, mine I'm is... I'm like Italian, so I just... Mine's Italian. very Midwestern, and I didn't realize I was Midwestern until this. I do the, well, oh. you know, where you like, well, yep. and you like stand yep. up. Look, no, you, you, you're basically putting punctuation yes, in yes. the space. And I didn't realize I was so Midwestern with that, but that's well. like the number one Midwestern, like, well, and you stand up and everyone's like, oh, that's it. 
the night's over. Yep. It's that's it. The it's time the, to go. The classic technique. So yeah, it's, it's not. It's, it's it's but it's double because it's not just a the whelp. It's the slap too. Yeah, like you have you, to. Yeah, and you stand up. It's like knees. a. Well, yeah. this was fun. Yeah, yeah, you know, no. like. So, but gosh. the other thing is, but, but if you're at dinner, and people don't seem to know, like they think that it's time to sit there forever and never yeah. leave. Yeah. You can say, "Did we win?" And then. Um, <laughs> no way. Do you do you really do that? Yeah. Do that at company. That's kind of cool. I do that at company lunches. It's that's kind of cool. Did we, did we win? Did we win? That's yeah. punctuation of its own. Yeah, it's like, where, are we, can, still, where are we still doing this? You'll know when I'm ready to go at dinner, because I'll be like, well, that was delicious, and stand up. Oh, man. <laughs> Dude, yeah, exactly. Get the Apparently, fuck out. Bye. Apparently, the Pacific Northwest thing is to start cleaning up around the person. I'm like, fuck, I do that, too. If someone's at your house, oh. and you start, oh, and you start putting the dishes oh, away, yeah. you know and you though? start. You, you know what's sad, though? I'm not even trying to kick them out. Like, <laughs> you're, I, just, you're just cleaning? I, I will. Like, Brenna will be halfway done with a cup of coffee. Yeah, it's like at Cedars. It's out of her hand. Have you been to Cedars? Yes. You can't yes. finish a fucking no, cup of chai. You can't. You can't. You can't. I've never finished one. I've tried. I have gone there and tried to finish a fucking cup of chai. Someone just, like, a, a young woman will come out from underneath the table. <sighs> Jaw unhinged. Pot of chai at the ready. You know what's so funny? I think they know that shit doesn't fly with me because they come over and I'm like... Refill, you know. So then they're like, "Oh, right." No, because I like, I don't know. I have big Punjabi energy, though. I love Cedars. Cedars, because people mention a lot of Indian oh, food restaurants yeah. to in Seattle to me, and yeah. I'm like, oh, "Yeah, Cedars is one of the undoubtedly good ones." Is it actually good? Yeah. Taste of India with the Christmas lights. Mm. That's like one street oh, over. Dude, Taste of India is just like down the street. Yeah. It's so small yeah. and yeah. cool. Taste of India. That's that's my favorite desi no, food that joint. Place, in that place. That place works. That place works for sure. Yeah, they um, they have it right. You know, they got they got it. Jones and Forrest. Well, no, here, no, here, just give me just give me one chunk. I, I just know. Like, he brought up cedars. That's how you know. I just know. Oh thank God. This is so. <laughs> no, I'm good. I'm good. No, I Five star. No, I'm good. No. Here, take it, take it back. No, no, here. It was the, it was the oh thank God for me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a... Oh, hold on a second. Is this meta? Are you saying it's time to be done with the stream? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! God, it took me forever to fucking get to it. You can't write this shit. I'm the dumbest you can't person on earth. write this shit. Are you you're ready like, to go? have we won? Have we won? Are you ready to leave? <laughs> Is that what you're? Okay, well, listen. It's, I mean, I've had fun, you know, I hope that you've not been, you know, dissuaded from further interactions. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> so, did we win? <laughs> Listen, I'm, I'm gonna paint two more pauldrons. <laughs> oh my God, no. <laughs> That's the funniest shit I've ever seen in my life. God bless you, Jerry Olkins. Absolutely. Listen. It's my great pleasure. Never change. I can't. Oh my god. Jasmine needs to come back and make some beer. Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. Th this is why I asked. Oh my god. Can we make like a chai nitro stout? Mm -hmm. That would be easy. <laughs> mm. <laughs> that would be like, that would be trivial to do, yes. But yeah, my favorite beers are like nitros and, because I, I like, I have, with all the spicy food I've eaten in my life, I have a lot of acid reflux. Mm. Oh, and do you find that nitro beers are easier on you? Mm-hmm. Anything that's like really creamy, creamy. with a lot of head. Mm-hmm. Some of the beers I used to throw down on a lot when I was like, when I had a healthier GI tract, I can't like drink anymore. <laughs> For example, sours. Mm. Yeah. I cannot do sours. <laughs> we, we just had a great one that we made here last week. Oh, I like called, them. It was called the Tongue Flare. Sounds, yeah. sounds appetizing, yeah. So, so we, were, we were trying to make, because for me, I find sours, I'm, I've, I've broken through it now. Mm -hmm. um, but I used to find sours basically undrinkable. Really? Yeah, it was just very challenging for me on my palate. Do you not like sour fl flavored things? I love sour flavored things. Yeah, just but, not beer. Exactly. So what we, we, we figure out is that it's just, 
it's like a it's like a not like a super taster thing because I'm not a super taster. Mm -hmm. But it's in that continuum where it just has to do with how I perceive it. And now I've had enough experience testing myself against it that I get it. And but this one that we made last week was so cool. It um because we were trying to make one that is basically like a calibration for the palate, like to get to understand it. I had it be mm -hmm. broken broken way down. So it has one grain and the same hop added at every point so that all the other X factors are sort of constrained. Mm. And so this is basically uh, pale malt, lemon drop, uh, simple like American ale yeast. Oh no, it's a sour, it's a sour, it was the Sour Batch Kids. Sour Batch Kids. Oh, Sour Batch Kids. And so it, it's just one of the brewing yeasts. And okay. so then we were able to we put it together. I kind of said that like I know what it was. Yeah. It was like sour. Yeah, you really went in for that one. Yeah, like, yeah. Oh yeah, I didn't know that. I used that in my bread. No, I liked the name of it. It sounded cute, like right? a weed. Yeah, like it, a weed, doesn't a strain it? of weed you would buy. Oh yes. There's a lot of overlaps eventually. Sour batch kids. Okay. Of course. But it was good. Ooh. And and then we had another sour, a couple different sours in here today, and they were both A plus. And so, but yeah, I mean that's what we do on Tuesday, starting at noon. If so this explains when you messaged me. You said we'll be drinking long before then. Yeah. Oh. And yeah. And I was like, oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> and you and you were like, all right, lol. And I'm like, but actually though, I, literally we will. And listen, I'm saying I'm offering this to you as well. You can roll in. We can we can cook up this chai. Oh my god. We can okay. figure out the particular. Mm -hmm. Now, but our our brewing program, you will like this. Our brewing program, its purpose, well, among other things is to give you that which you already own, the art and science of brewing. But we also try to make artifacts of game worlds, of characters. Like when we make a recipe, typically there's a story behind it. Oh. So we'll, we might choose, a like we did, we've done all the chromatic dragons, all the metallic dragons as, as different beers. And, but that's, that's the type of shit that we get up to. So like you are, if you like beer, it is, you know, most of it, Acquisitions Intoxicated is mostly about D&D &D stuff. That's cool. We've branched out now because we've been doing it for years and years, but we have, you know, probably coming up on 200 unique wow. recipes. Dude, we've been at it. Mm -hmm. I remember when I came in here and we had, like, kind of first met because of Seattle by Night. Yeah. I tried the... Right, it was a writing one. Oh goodness, I can't think of the name now. It had coins on it. Oh, and oh. A quill. Signing, bonus. signing bonus. Signing bonus. I liked that one a lot. Yeah, signing bonus was with uh, two beers. And so the last two packs God, I, I, I fucked this up so bad. At the last, at West and at East, we have a Voodoo Ranger Acquisitions Incorporated collab. Oh, I saw the booth. Mm -hmm. So Chris did all, Chris, our friend Chris Straub did the art, but those are like, um, you know, hazy IPA collabs, and they have both been like out of this fucking world good. But yeah, that's, that's something we gotta, that's something we gotta hook up. All right. Well, I think that is everybody. Everybody has their Fenrisian blue on their... Oh, except for you. You've gotten Get so much here. done. I know, in right? such a short period of time. No, this is exactly... This is how it should be. This is Eric's thing, is that it's so much easier and so much more fun to do the crafting stuff. I mean, this is, this is why you want chat with you, right? Yeah. Yeah, I get a lot more done doing stuff on stream than I do. Like, oh, no! No, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, so did you put another coat on? Yeah, I wanted to Ooh. make it pop a little more, and I'm really happy I did because now the purple's is coming out. Is it working? Out. Yeah, if you oh, look it's on the other, there. the other color layer. Yeah, yeah. If you look on there, it's like the purple's a little deeper now, and then the silver's picking up the... It's picking up almost like green. It's really bright, really bright it's on the silvers. Green. Yeah. 
I'm going to want to probably wash it with something dirty mm. to calm it down a little bit. Because oh, it's too, it's, it's too crazy. They, they're a little, I know I was, I, I was joking about like K-pop group, but now they're like a little bit actually leading that way. Might not be bad. Dude, you can, <clears throat> you can have whatever, you can paint whatever alien warrior you want. I, be the alien warrior I respect you want to it. see in the megaverse? I actually think, I, I did make a joke that their abbreviation for this kill team is BTS. Yes. And the full version of it is Bright Tash Bar Sword. Nice. <laughs> what a dork! God! <laughs> so... <laughs> Nerd. It's fine. So the more the ridiculous they look, I'd like to, I like to pretend in my head maybe they're famous. Oh yeah? Yeah, maybe they're they got really... a, follow, a cult following. Yeah, they've had movies made about mm -hmm. them. Exactly, and they've been in movies. Yeah. Right. Yeah. As themselves. Yeah. Ghost. Yes. I think my brush soap is uh, in my box out there. Maybe. maybe. Did I make that up? All right, cool. I'm glad I uh, had the opportunity to waste your time. I apologize. I'll have to get that. I'll have to get that. I've got some in my office. Parfait. But yes. Um, I'm going to try to get eyes on this multi-layer team over here. Oh, wow. Oh yeah, this is even more covenant than it was before. Yeah. I wanted to do another layer so the purple was like a little bit more notable. It, it's cranked. Mm -hmm. Like it's way up. It's all the way up. But, but basically, um, and then you want to sort of squash that down a little bit. I think so. Yeah, there's so many. I won't covenant. know until they're like totally dry, but I don't know if that's like too. Yeah. How long? I mean, how long does that even take with these goos? That I don't know. Right? I, I mean, I, I've never used them. Kika's used them. Um, it is a like times. really, like looking at the texture. I can't stop looking. At the well, no, it's impossible. It, it's so <laughs> vile. Can't get away from this glop. <laughs> it's so nasty. Oh, it's so gross. Right? Like, why would God do this to us? <laughs> yeah, you, you, you paid for it. <laughs> Yeah, that's the worst. Wait, you rub gave it in. this man money after he insulted you, <laughs> and now I really wanted. And now it's cheese. I really wanted the rest of those paints. That does ship nice. No, I, I'm I'm telling you that the metallic effect on this after two layers is dumb. Yeah, no, they yeah. look. I did not because the paint is. I told you that screen. silver was. The silver Jesus. is the way yeah. to do it. With. I was gonna get them IRL. With I, the way this <laughs> looks in the tray, because it looks like splooge. It looks like nothing. Yeah, it's like car paint. Yeah, it looks right? like freaking nothing. And then you put it on and it's like, oh, that actually looks pretty good. Pretty good. I mean, you know, I, the only is, thing is it's a little gloopy, it's a little hard to control. Yeah. To work with. Yeah, yeah. I hope when it dries it looks smooth. My big thing is like I hope it doesn't dry gloopy. It looks oh, like it's sure, drying sure, pretty sure, smooth sure, sure. though. It looks straight. I mean, some of these are even like flat panels. I don't see any yeah. Aberrations. I was, yeah, I was worried I mean, about so this, that. So this has, this is, you got to be overjoyed with the. Yes. Yes. The, the I think texture. I am going to keep the fabric black. Yeah. Yeah. Again, like, like the mm -hmm. underweave. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All the, all, all those suits have that, right? Um, hollow foil. Yeah, exactly right. Just good vibes. Eilington, thank you so much for the stuff. Now, yeah. And then, then honestly, I just, I don't think that there's much more this squad could get on the table so fast. Mm -hmm. Think about what happens when you hit the drones with this shit. Yeah. On that dome. Yeah, mm -hmm. no, the drones are gonna look really cool. That's gonna be out of control because Actually, yeah, but it, they have the rivet, but yeah. they have the, the take cut. Long. No, but they have the cut in them, like the um, the circles, like the channels and the- Yeah, they do. That's gonna provide, it's gonna break up that shiny yep. bug shell. Yep. But I'm saying that these guys could be on the table so fast. Yeah. If, if it's going to look like this, <laughs> if it's going to look like this after a couple coats, yeah. um, 
I'm, de I'm definitely impressed. I didn't think they would come together that quickly. Oh, yeah. But the best part is it's a whole fucking range. The dry brush definitely helps. So that's all. Well, yeah, the, the dry brush, ba all, all it did was tell us what needed paint. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Um, but honestly, this is I think this is kind of a cool look for the um, for the pulse weapons, like these sort of like shiny, just a couple notes on those. Like, again, mm -hmm. like I always like that gold ball that they have in there. Yeah. Like they can still have that, but the rest of it can be matted or. Yeah. Yeah. I think I'm going to have their like, I think I'm going to choose like really dirty metal colors for these like the guns and stuff like that with like little yeah. highlights to make mm. it look a little more gritty. It, Super cool. Can you try something? Try this. I don't, I don't currently have a, anything to do with this and I, I need someone to use it and tell me if it's good. So we're in experiment in experimentation zone. It's gonna yeah. ruin everything, all the work we just did. What for... is that? Basically, this <laughs> is a contrast paint, <gasps> but people are using it over metallics of various kinds, like a wash. Okay. Because it's a gray paint. Oh. It's like a gray paint that dries. People are using it in place of known oil. Really? Because its texture doesn't pool as much. Uh -huh. And it, because it's a contrast paint, it flows better. Okay. You might try this on some of your, on some of these new weapons, especially because some of those drones are stacked. They'll have lots of cool metallics yeah. on them underneath. Yeah, yeah. Right? Feisty Crabbin. Oh, hello, friends. Is that Turbo Dork? Yeah, it's fucking yeah. Turbo Dork. Like, this... You would think this was a sponsored stream. You would. <laughs> After they looking look, at these fucking guys. I can't stop guys. looking at them. I'm no, like, oh, it's like. Dude, I, what's your favorite part? I get cranked up when that pauldron comes around. Right. I like the dome piece like that. Oh, the Yeah, the dome piece head. is pretty look good. Look at the color travel from the front to the back. I'm hypnotized by this fucking no, it's thing. it's really good. It's really good. Jumping Jesus. I don't know. I'm very, very. I'm very, very pleased with it. So that yeah. right there is my favorite part. Yep. Oh, oh, oh! And when you get the full squad, yeah, yeah. you get the album cover. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's this dude over here with the flat panel on the shoulder. I just, I get cranked up. But then this guy's, he's tossing the grenade like at his friend. I mean, this isn't canon. Yeah. Right. This yeah. is like. A, it's actually a can of beer. Universe. Oh. Yeah. yeah. No. And that's, First. and then he's got more strapped on the <laughs> yeah, back he, of his belt. He, he's like, hey, bro. And he he's like, the, he oh. Hit the field. And he's looking up, ready to catch <laughs> it. He hit the field, ready to go. But I'm saying. These guys could be ready to go. Like, do you, I mean, do you want to get these guys where they need to be? Again, like the dry brush, I think, is the is the magic here. Yeah. You yeah. hit it with the goo. And the goo. obviously there's a, you know, the, the roster's deep. Definitely not the crunch. Is, yeah, yeah, don't hit it with got, the paneer. You got gifts for me. Here's yeah. my gift to you. <laughs> yeah. A hole? No, we don't need this. A whole oh, tube of Eldritch Horror. Yeah. yeah, no, we don't need it. But I'm saying that. Uh, you know, next time you end up doing a craft stream or something like that, like yeah. you could Tuesday afternoons. We have been playing Kill Team. Yeah, no, want, I want to get them learn, going. If you want to like come in, you want to learn how to play. Yeah, easy peasy. Because this was fast. Because there are like six more of these guys. Absolutely, but there are a but lot of they're, them. They're tau. There's big, especially because of the drones. Like it's just a big surface. Mm -hmm. It's going to be really mm -hmm. easy. And then the undercarriage probably it's probably it's probably going to be similar to the the weave. Yeah. So there's probably not going to be a whole lot of crazy detail under there. That might be a nice place for some kind of shiny metallic. Right. Yeah. And then the gray yeah. underneath. But, I mean, that's a night's nice work, if yeah. anything. If yeah. it's going to look like this after two coats. Yeah. No, I'm happy I chose these to paint today instead of Sororitas, because those I'm dreading painting those ladies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have a lot going but, on. But these are the cats you want to, these are the cats that you want to put on the table yes. first. Yeah. Yes. They yeah. have the mechanics I'm most interested in. They have, well, yeah, they have a great medic. They, they, have a, they have a shield really good drones. medic. Ooh. Shield drone, the grav. Do I have a shield? I love the I have list. The, I have the grav inhibitor in here. Yeah, mm -hmm. I love the list. And then I've got a marker drone, a recon drone, and a pulse accelerator drone. Ooh. Oh, so you actually brought, you brought the uh, the marker drone? Yep. Nice. Yep. Yeah, because if you can get like three markers on somebody, it's yes. like... And the marker drone doubles Lights them? out. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. There's a different mechanic the for The marker each. drone can really lock somebody down. And yeah. then the recon drone helps you put damage on the marker drones, because I have some snipers in here, too. Yeah. Again, their sniper is really nasty, actually. Yes. Yes. They do very, mortal very wounds. Very, very bad. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Really mean. Well, here. Let me just pop 
pop this open real quick. Just take I think a look they have lots it. of ways to like, because I'm trying to think, like, the Nids have lots of ways to just murder people. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because they fact, have like fact, Rend Eric, and all like all these Eric, crazy abilities. Well, they have Rend for sure, but they also have, um, they have, in, the, in that one they call it AP, but it's similar. Mm -hmm. um, the main thing they have is Relentless. Oh, which yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically, like, Relentless is one thing on like a chain gun, but their melee guys have Relentless on claws. Yeah. Uh, being able to reroll your melee pool is fucking insane. So here. These they're... Tau can't do that, but they're pretty, so it's okay. <laughs> but they, they really shine. Oh, what, what, what they have is they, they have fusion cannons on their stealth suits. That's where it's a problem. Pathfinders. So do you have access to this screen? George? You. Perfect. Uh, because there's there's another drone. What's the one that shoots missiles out of it? Oh, it gets, um... Oh, yeah. They have a drone. One of their drones doesn't move. Oh, yeah, it, really? It just, it's yeah. stationary and just shoots missiles anywhere on the board. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, so basically, you pl you place it at the beginning, and it doesn't even need a lot of sight. It just goes, woo, woo -hoo. My missiles just shoot out. Um, I don't think I feel that the medical technician, which is probably a mistake. We'll see. Uh, well, no, no. It, it's... it's they're they're all they're all choices. It's all mostly side grades, but there's some handy things that they can do. The truth is, Pathfinders tend have like seven hit points. Yeah. So having the time to that's, save them. That's kind of where I was coming yeah. from. I was like, eh, I, f I have a feeling like if they're gonna die, they're just gonna die, and they're not gonna try to save them. Yeah. I did take the <clears throat> Hospitaller with the Sororitas though. Yeah, yeah, that's nice. Yeah. But the gun drone. <laughs> Don't sleep on the gun drone. <laughs> I know it seems boring. Is the one with yeah. the... Oh, no. I know that it seems boring. Obviously, RAM, we don't give a shit about this. Mm -hmm. That's not real. Mm -hmm. um, but especially because it's considered a Pathfinder, right? okay. even though it's a bot, okay. right? They're, they're considered Pathfinders, which means it can take advantage of all the marker lights, oh. too. The difference is that it's firing base damage is four. That's high yeah. in this game. That's a yeah. crit from nuts. a bolt rifle. Yeah, yeah. that's nuts. Right? Five for crits, but you re-roll the entire fucking dice pool. Yeah. And if you have that and they're and they're lit up with marker lights, you're re-rolling the entirety of a dice pool on three ups. Like it's 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 fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> it's wrong. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, but anyway, the, I was, something else I was gonna say, that pulse accelerator drone is so cool. Um, because it gets to it gets to inherit all of those goodies, because <coughs> the gun drone. I'm out of water. You're so thirsty. The gun drone is also uh, <coughs> is a is a pathfinder, and second, I'm dying. No, you're you're gonna die. It's okay. Here, while you do that, I'll find the accelerator. Yeah, yeah. Listen, we'll talk about what's really important here, not your health. A hair? Yes, like a cat. Was there hair in, in, in your coconut yogurt? <laughs> no, there's probably hair on me, though. It's fine, Joey made me cry. Oh, no. <laughs> That's really what it was. But anyway, I just wanted to say that having the accelerator drone on there brings me real joy. Yeah, you have I got actual that one. tears. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got a cat hair in my throat. <laughs> so imagine if you get to reroll the entire pool, but also one of one of the dice is automatically a hit every time. That's fucking stupid. Mm -hmm. And all the and, 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 and your sniper. Why not have that too? I'm just dying. No, it's fine. Listen, uh, it's been a lot of fun. Um, we did not want you to die on your first visit. <laughs> I that think it could goal. still happen, yeah. so we're gonna shut the stream down well, now. We, we accomplished what we had to do. I can't breathe. I don't. I, that's TOS, I think, yeah. for sure. I can't breathe. I'm getting about to get whelped. Listen, listen. 
Uh, long story did, short. Did we win? Did we, we win? Did we kill her? <laughs> hey, listen, <laughs> we did win, I think. Um, that was ballin'. Yeah, I, I, listen, I'm just, uh, let's just, just take a moment. I'm sorry about your, your, uh, your esophagus, obviously. It's, um... Okay. <laughs> anyway, thank you for coming to the studio. <laughs> I to stand by the door now. Please, please call an ambulance, ghostly, for Jasmine. Anyway, again, much appreciated. Glad you could come back. These guys look like a million bucks. We'd love to play kill team with you at some point in the future if you are still real by the door. <laughs> look if you continue to be real I, I think there's we can we can play a game together but if you if obviously it could go another way and you know all right yes. oh okay. my god i'm so mad at you Good. Yeah. That's been an absolute pleasure. <laughs> Overjoyed that you had a chance to come in. Thank you so much. Yeah, let's, let's get you back in there. Let's roll some dice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, hey, thanks, Ghost. <laughs> uh, thanks, Josh. Uh, thanks, Eric. Thanks, Jasmine. Thank you for turning a five second choke into like a 30 second bit. laughing bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I, uh, oh my God. I'm a professional humorist. Um, until next time, we'll see you. <laughs>